All right. Here we are with Exalted Princes of the Universe, Season 5, Episode 16. It is February 2017. I'm Devin the GM, and to our left we have X Plane Y, Peter of the Royal, Ian as Longhorn Desert Wolf, Kevin as the Killer Queen, Anthony as the Wanderer, and Nicole as the Majestic. <laughs> All right, gang. So, who wants to recap what happened last session? Quack. Plagues. So many plagues. We murdered everyone in the Blessed Isle. I got a lovely new parasol. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a parasol. <laughs> I wanted to check down with some stairs. We warned Princess Peach about stairs, and she didn't listen. <laughs> she didn't listen, bro. I warned you about stairs. Repeatedly. You should have been in another castle, bro. <laughs> then uh, ISM Despair is doing things that we kind of left alone, because... We have other shit to deal with. I had completely forgotten up to this point about the I to Seven Despair portion of that session. We, we had a really nice philosophical debate with him. If by sure, Stan, you're nice, a realist. If by nice you mean extremely infuriating, then yes. You guys tried to argue with a nihilist about bullshit. No, and he no. was like, no. What's infuriating is we should have take care, taken care of Juggernaut months ago. No, no, it doesn't matter. The Juggernaut's not there. She knows whole yeah. plan. I think you'll find I know. that I to Sub Despair will be able to claim that nothing really matters. <laughs> yeah. He's not there, though. Up he's, he's, dead. Been, he's been torn apart. Yeah, parts. I know, but if we, to- if we tore him about, he wouldn't be part of some evil titan flipping really? machine. Dude, here's five minutes after you killed Juggernaut. You wouldn't even throw... Ding, Abyssal Exalt. Hey, can I have these parts? We're going to do it for Nebula's stuff. Here's some stuff you probably want. And you'd be like, okay. Ding. Yeah, you don't do, you didn't even throw away that fucking axe, so the chances of us still on that. Yeah. Oh, that, uh, that solar that you gave to the uh... Yeah, the soul Yeah. The, that the, worked the out really well for us. And also I owed her a favor, and she's my baby mama. Or whatever. <laughs> and also Don't you um, care about your kid? I threw him away in the desert ten years ago. No. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm the good doesn't... parent in this relationship. I oh found him after ten years. And then uh, the lion is just rampaging, rampaging across uh, the Blessed Isle. Yes, the first forsaken lion is free of his yoke and running amok uh, on the Blessed Isle. Uh, Why do I have a feeling that eventually there'll be Wanderer versus the lion and... The lion will be all like, I'm a master of arms, the supernal chief of weaponry and martialness in the underworld. Join me, he, battle brother! And then he reaches behind his armor, pulls out an axe, <laughs> takes off his helmet to reveal a skull face. <laughs> oh wait, he's like, I'm the master of arms. Oh, it's like, oh wait, we can just leave the, sea, the desert wolf to do this. It's fine. He's like, I am the master of arms. <laughs> All arms. Allow me to assume a form you're more comfortable with. Takes off his helmet, he's heading ahead. Why? Why does everyone have to be the Devastator? He's the original Devastator. Fucking triggered. So it's the original you. Maybe. I, I originally think, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I think any of you guys being uh, previous incarnations of the Death Lords or stuff is dumb. Because mm. mm. I mean, it makes the universe way too small. Yeah. yeah. These guys were different people. But who are the important ones? Well, they're, well, they're, they're, they're shadows <laughs> of solars, aren't they? They're they're the souls of those first yeah. age solars who just never passed on to yeah. Leth. So they might be Some like, of them are, don't like they? he might be based, like loosely based on a previous incarnation. Of nope, Lord, no, no, no. Not how it works. Well, no, but like that's like, like solar dies. Their soul doesn't move on. They're still here hanging out. They're a ghost. Yep. Death Lords are just ghosts. No. You're, you're thinking of abyssals uh, or oh. infernals, oh. whatever Admiral Sand is. Oh. Both. Wait, what? <laughs> They're both aggregates. Oh, okay. Anyway. Okay. You guys weren't even that important in the first stage. You guys just hung out in your own corner of the world. We weren't nobody that important because nobody paid attention to us. So we wanted to party with uh, So with uh, uh, the virus bombing of the Blessed Isle, the kicking the shit out of a Princess Magnificent <laughs> with Lips of Coral and Cloak of Black, Black Feathers. What a real fight. And snorting her. And snorting her, drug orange style. Uh, it now falls to the last two steps of your plan to take the Blessed Isle. The aerial assault and the underground assault. Doing which, you will be able to go into the manse, the, the realm defense grid in the Imperial City, and kick the shit out of the Empress if possible. Hmm. Why would you say it like that? Obviously we're going to do it. Well, because we're going to talk with her, and when we talk to people... <laughs> we're going to start fucking talk. <laughs> Why would you talk to her? <laughs> Because okay, guys, 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 magic meeting room. <laughs> we are didn't... not fucking talking to you. Alright, let me pause, no. let me pause. We're back. Magic meeting, emergency magic meeting room meeting. <laughs> as the Majestic, <coughs> the smartest of you five, realizes a fatal flaw in your plan to kill the Empress. 
Wait, what? We are not fucking talking to her. Why would we? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, just wanted to clarify that right now. Ron May starts bringing up previous engagements you've had with people you're going to kill where you talk with them, and then even they're not murder. <laughs> okay, yeah, so and not now murder. they're our friends. Just wanting not. to put this out here. Not often. We're, we're not negotiating. We're talking to her. We're not negotiating. Give examples. With her. We are not. <laughs> Doing the thing where we kill all the lower level guys and then let the big <laughs> boss go free. No. Tepid Arata raises his hand. I mean, that worked out for me pretty well. Wait. We are Admiral San raises his hand. Killing... Wait, what's going to happen to me then? We are oh, killing we like her <laughs> fucking ass. You're alienating our friends, Majestic. We walk in, we kill her. We are not talking to her. She's too big of a threat. Just dead. Yeah, I mean, if we got if we just made deposed her, she could easily get enough supporters to you know we take things or try or cause just problems for us. Yeah, no. Voice without hits his call button like his little like light up button at his table at the table. I mean, me doing terrible things and you only killing my underlings and me getting away with it worked out really well for me. We like you. Though. You we don't start. <laughs> you don't get an opinion on this. Aww. Admiral San, Tepid Arata, Void Within Without. Nightman. Uh, no, I they never did anything horrible. Well, he didn't darkness. have underlings that were punished instead of him. Yeah. Clad in darkness, Clad in darkness shockwave. Uh, they are all like, you know, you punishing our underlings for our orders and letting us get away with it really worked out for us. I mean, us getting away scot free, that that was great. Technically, Desert Wolf. <laughs> he didn't get away scot free. He's in another. We didn't kill his minions. Uh... He killed his minions. If by minions we mean children. <laughs> yeah. You killed their fighting spirit with your slanderous words. Well, the cult cult of the long, I guess. So yes, minions. dead, 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 dead forever. <laughs> Killing her immediately. Yeah. No talking. Yeah. <laughs> Do not let her monologue. Yeah. Or just banish her to the wild using... Uh, no. Kill. Okay. What? And then she comes back in 20 years with a, round, with a, a wild, wild army. army. Not necessarily. We can just make her swear to never no, return using uh, the oh, desert wolf. Oh no. She'll break an yeah. oath for a year and a day. It would disadvantage her long enough for us to kill her. No we, could just, we should just kill her now. Yeah. Let's not leave it up to maybe it'll be a problem in the future and instead <laughs> deal with the problem future now. Us can deal with that. <laughs> I so like that's future tomorrow Majestic. That's me. Okay. We kill. A vote has been declared just so you can all say it independently yeah. of each other. Not to have say what, you, what you're going to do when you meet the Scarlet Empress. Kill her. We're going to smear her all across that throne room. <laughs> that's vague. And then kill her. <laughs> there it is. Wanderer. Um, I guess I'll kill her. Obviously, I'm gonna kill her. She has already said what she's wanted to say, and she opposes like, everything we believe in. All right, all right, majestic. Yes, kill. No talk. I mean, you guys realize this is like not a law of the city, and any of us can go back on this at any time. I just want. We just want to hear it all. I guess this is Madrona. It's like we just all want to hear it from you guys here, so the plan doesn't change halfway through. <laughs> we don't want you guys to like. Never, we don't want this to turn into one of those very rare instances that never happens where you say you're going to do one thing, a few of you are quiet, and then after the fact when things have drastically changed, the ones who stay quiet say this was never their plan at all in the first place and they never agreed to it. We all just want to hear, and there's like a bunch of the NPCs in the background, <laughs> for clarity's sake, you guys to say the sentence we'll of change, what you're going to do this uh, We'll Chris. change the plan if we bloody well want to. <laughs> Can be rubbed in her face like, yeah, I'm okay with this time. <laughs> All right, so so Killer Queen, when you meet the Scarlet Empress, banter but still kill. <laughs> Wanderer, I said, yeah, we're, we're murderers. Let's do it. Yeah, death. Majestic. No Only death. I'd love to hear her ideas. About <laughs> kill her in the end. Everyone at the table's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking desert wolf. Kill her. She has nothing to offer us. You're only saying that because the Majestic said it. <laughs> Is that wrong? All right. So not. All right, that's no. on the record. There's no ambiguity. There is ambiguity. <coughs> this well, guy just said he's gonna let her talk first on purpose. Oh yeah, no! It doesn't listen. matter because he doesn't have the power so to kill punch anyone him in anyways. The face and then kill her. <laughs> so while he's talking, we'll all do the killing. I'll, I'll be distracting you. you. Either. Well, I guess you have guns now, so you can kind of help. So yeah, sounds like a plan. Okay. All right, murder. Most of us agree. A, a murder vote has been declared. 
Close enough. How dare you second guess us? <laughs> There's no second guessing. We happen from from demographic information and statistics we've gathered. We just want to bring this up now. I don't know. This is borderline slanderous traitorism. No, this is this is really in person. Oh, I'm very, if you ever accuse my children of that again, I will murder you. Isn't it all of your children? Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right, Madrano just Madrano just saves that file to an external drive and leaves. To an external drive. It's like so a USB panel, but it's like a huge artifact. He's like carrying. It's like a out. fucking stone tablet that gl- glows. They put in a rocket and fire it into the moon. <laughs> like one may can't wipe like a like USB drive. Like if someone's carving it into the stone about us talking. <laughs> All right, so you have the underground siege and the aerial legion siege. The underground siege is going to be slowed down by the fact that you have a undead holocaust happening on the Blessed Isle that is being co-opted by the First Forsaken Lion. Can we just go kill him real quick? Would that, would that turn out terrible if we just dropped in and beat him is there to a death? Way, is there a way we can guide him to certain areas so we can use him to our advantage? He's really he's, stupid. No, he's not. He's in his element. He's a military tactician and genius. He's really stupid. Can we, if, we get, if you can <laughs> well, just get him alone with We do have another great uh, tacticianer uh, from Demons which one? Madul Rada? Yeah, but they're organized. Tepid Rada? Madul Rada. Who? Uh, One of the third circle demons. We from Kimberly. She's a great war tacticianer. Yeah, she's been coordinating a lot of the assault. <coughs> yeah, we don't want them on the actual Blessed Isle. That would be... Like they're, they're in use. They've been assigned as resources. Is there no way we well, can, like, we could, like, take the Erebor up beneath, you know, where all the darkness is. She probably would be very useful. We should do... So here's what we'll do. We'll put the Majestic in a dress. <laughs> I mean, Give her a parasol. Now that she has the parasol. With and the black parasol. Fri- frills and doilies on it. <laughs> and just lead him around. <laughs> oh, would anyone save me from this is, parasol? Is there not like an offensive spell or something? We'll, that, like, we'll build seven castles. <laughs> <laughs> Each of my fucking children. We'll manage them. Eight, no, yeah. Jeez. And that's actually that's actually a really good way to get rid of him. Is we, you know, have him figure out that. Princess Magnificence is somewhere else off the Blessed Isle. You know, in peril and so desperate for for a rescue. I mean, I'm pretty sure he probably knows she's dead by now. Princess Magnificence called out for you. She called out for you specifically, Lion. Why weren't you there? I have social charms, ass face. (laughs) So do I. You just made the list. Well, I don't think we're going to solve anything here. I think we should go to him <coughs> and either kill him or drag yeah. him somewhere. Is there not an offensive spell that like sends pa- people back to their realm or something? It's called killing their fucking ass. Yeah, but yeah. he's surrounded by his so armies and shoot. on the Blessed Isle. Like, can't we just, like, everything there like, and really. just be like... No, you can't just banish him back to the other <coughs> world. <coughs> no, I'll just be waiting. Like, he'll just leave the underworld again after, but just get him there and be like, Hey, we're here now. You we're going to kill you before you leave again. Well, again, now that you're here alone in this room with us. He's not a demon. He's not bound to stay in the underworld, you know. Well, he was. No. And if we just take the Sword he... of Creation, we can just blast him back. Yeah, I was going to say, why don't we just... Taking the Sword of Creation the... requires you to finish the ground force assault, which he's currently yeah, uh, he's pushing back. back. Um, so it would be nice to take him out Isn't first. Isn't he also killing realm soldiers, or is he just It's a big bloodbath. It's He'll just kill... like a three armies just all killing everyone. The soldiers aren't even on the Yeah, your armies aren't even there yet, and that mm-hmm. is really fucking up uh, the realm and the ghost army thing. Well, so Which how... is good for oh, us right yeah. now, but as soon as our guy gets there, so he's going to attack So how about shit. we coordinate so that he takes care of some part, we attack the other parts that are attacked by him... So we don't cross path much, and when we do, we just retreat back underground and let him. I mean, take since over. we love making we don't deals. Want him to take over. Okay, wait. So, the, so the plan no. is to let him destroy fifty percent of the aisle, and then you guys conquer fifty percent. And if he gets into your shit, retreat and let him take the other fifty percent. Well, we just need the imperial city, right? No, we don't. We need everything. Well, once we get the imperial city, everything else falls to us. Yeah, they should be seeking to interfere with any of that, mm-hmm. apparently, so... Oh, you guys have been <coughs> making deals with Death Lords, why don't you just go talk to them? <laughs> yeah, you guys didn't... You totally didn't vote not to talk to the first Forsaken Lion. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Well, and tell him to leave? Didn't the Wolf and the Royal kind of have a deal going with them yeah. before or something? Like, you guys have rapport? 
Uh, not this wolf. But it doesn't matter. He's a death lord. You won't know the difference. <laughs> you better not know that we killed his, uh, you know, paramour. That would really. Oh suck. yeah, that would be a detrimental. Oh, he probably knows. Majestic shows up with the parasol. <laughs> we didn't kill it. We stole it. Go we, on, we chase her, chase her. Let's just like, throw him into the, the sun. sun. <laughs> Uh, so I yeah I vote I think we're our best. So, let's just call him. Get on the screen. I mean, go to him. Or there's him. another option. What's that? You can contact another Death Lord. You know, <clears throat> sick that Death Lord on him. Wait, which one? We know a lot. I mean, there's one who would match. Who, if the if First Forsaken Line is known for his military might. There is one that matches him in arcane necromantic might. Yeah, I'm sure the mask would be really willing to work with us. Why not? You didn't destroy his empire. Let's send the Wanderer to deal with him. Oh, can I? I mean, you'd be asking him for a favor. He'd be all up for that. Oh, Oh, that doesn't sound fun. What would he possibly want? We could have... How about all those Neo Spectres from the best dial? I have a few ideas. Has the mask regenerated yet? You You might assume is. I mean, so I'm, I'm, I thought I'm I Darkness was conquered the mass. Because wasn't that his whole thing? He's like, There's I'm a no, thing going no. on. Okay. You know where his tomb is. I'm in no mood to give the man back an area like Thorn for the people to torture. So. Why don't we just add, if you have the realm defense grid, he's not doing shit. <coughs> then well, why would he help us? Well, we were saying that uh, we're going to take all those Ask him, I'm sure hungry ghosts something. from the best dial, give it to Void. And since Void's sort of working for Mass, then if we give it Void's to Mass, it'll be basically to... the same. <laughs> Void's not connected to our Abyss anymore, I thought. Isn't he like... Void's doing his own thing, but... I don't know. If you... That's my suggestion. There's, uh, there's others, though. Not just Mass. Or, or not just uh, Void. We could always talk to... Uh... What, Lion's Circle? No, just his entire circle. The Topaz Lady... Cloud and Darkness. Cloud and Darkness. Nice of course. Who is supposed to be Again, the new mask. Yeah, I think no, that Darkness. wasn't it at all. Well, yeah, but he's taking over power. Yeah, and he lost that power when you guys went and fucked his shit up. When did we fuck his shit up? Clads? Nexus? That was his big staging coup, and then for some reason the Nexus Shadowland disappeared. <coughs> oh no. Because he oh, broke no. our agreement like a did. Yeah, and he's moving on. <laughs> Stupid debisses. Well, yeah, let's go talk to him. This really? Sucks. Let's get him a gift. Who, mask or clad? Mask. Oh. It was such a good idea last time. <laughs> Are we getting such magical like light. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> you start doping. Are we doing this? Are we, I, I don't even want to see that guy. Like He's going to tease me the entire it. time. Yeah, that's because you're so easy to tease. It doesn't matter. <laughs> He's still a jerk. He's a big man. I don't <coughs> like him. Okay. If we bring the Wanderer, the Wanderer is just going to try and kill him. And at that point, we might as well just get in a fight directly with the lion instead of fighting the mask and then fighting the lion. You don't know that. You don't know me. I'm like putting on brass knuckles. (laughs) (laughs) You can always talk to the lion circle. I I know one Um, of them quite well. He probably knows uh, the lion well enough that we can make him leave. (laughs) Um, Or at least convince him to go elsewhere. Uh, he hasn't mailed the whole Can't we just like send a distress call from Princess Wait. Magnificent's like, bedroom? Will that work? Be like, help me, help me! <laughs> I feel like he's <laughs> I was like, showering and I tripped. Die, yeah. Right? I've fallen and I can't get up. Like, I got caught in the shower <laughs> curtain. That I silky fell. lace shower curtain. Help, I fell down some stairs. We could do that. <laughs> <laughs> we fell down some stairs into all this, into all this oil. Well, in and, this... The, and uh, not the Dowager, the other one. There's another slutty death lord. Dowager, I think, yeah. No, She's the like Dowager's the, the beast but, monster. But what about the bishop? No, Is he the no, slutty one? No. God I mean, damn. 12 penises. <laughs> <sighs> Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> well, amusingly enough, Master Woods is also from Abhorrence of Life. Just like the I lover clad in the raiment of tears. Hmm. So yeah, we can always get Princess Peach to like <coughs> show a little leg. Well, what if... Mask of Winters kidnapped Prince of Magnificent. You think oh, that'd be a dick move. <laughs> I mean, that would be amazing. She's all defenseless. We could do a play. <coughs> a really convincing one, not my usual slog. <laughs> We're actually trying can, try. can we use a play to like cover up the fact? Is that a thing to cover up the fact that we actually killed him? So it sounds like you're going to the underworld to talk to the Mask of Winters. 
I mean, oh, I guess. Uh, okay, that works. If we gave the oh, that, this is what this plan was sounding like. Yeah, if we gave the parasol to the Muslims, maybe he'd be able to by the have some sort of Create familiar, an image of her. familiar connection with her to grow her out somehow. We don't want her back. We Are just want we her image. able to <coughs> basically <coughs> like. <sighs> Take a picture of the Mask of Winters with the parasol, like looking all sinister, and then like send that picture to the lion. They're <laughs> all this and grimace. Like I mean, that, I mean, like a giant purple costume. <laughs> like, I mean, that I mean, would work, right? He'd get really mad and be like, "You killed my mask." I mean, between your costume creation, the queen's huh? between your costume creation and the queen's like uh, playwright stuff, we could easily just do this thing. I mean, make it like, short, majestic. You make it carving. Of him holding the parasol. An animatronic <laughs> of the master. <laughs> I have you now. I when, have her now. And then he like puts the parasol down and takes out a banjo. <laughs> <laughs> the, the princess uh, uh, animatronic. She's like, oh no, well, someone and then her jaw fell open. She's like, ah and we have to, like that. Goes down, picks up like a like a like a moonshine jug and they start singing a song about how getting out she is. <laughs> it's it's like, yes. Yes. So, the first thing line's like, it's so lifelike. <laughs> Legitimately, like, we could do that. We could probably Mas- trick him into thinking that, like, the mask took her. Mas- and he'd probably abandon the island because he really, really likes her, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. It'll probably take him... <coughs> All we need is for it to hinder him for, like, two or three days. Right? And what's his personality like? Is he... He's like the Wanderer, only more jaded? Uh, like- your dad, ra- your dad, the Abyssal, who works with the mask, the first particular line, raises his hand. That's incorrect. Oh, oh do tell. He's, uh, oh, hey, daughter. <coughs> He's, um, wait, you can uh, say that now? Resonance. Oh, shh. Resonance. He's just bleeding it everywhere. <laughs> He's been hanging out with his wife. He went to the wedding. He's like, oh, there's so much resonance. But the cake is so good. <laughs> I ate so much cake. <laughs> Causing so much damage to the environment. Bad farts. He's, uh, he's intelligent and cunning. Not like an animal. Like, uh, hey, like an old soldier. Like, Fair uh. <laughs> like uh, like tap it around. Yeah. There you, go. <clears throat> you think he's fall- cunning? So you don't think he'd fall for something like this really easily? He's not a. He's not a a, a a playwright's first attempt at a dark character. He, he's not a cartoon. Or, he says he's not a cartoon. He, he's yeah. nuanced. He's not. Well, of course, it. yes. He would steal his resolve. And you can't just dangle Princess Magnificent in front of him and expect him to run like like a no, dog. Be more of an actor than both. Okay. Yeah. Just throws the costume to the side. Okay. <laughs> the concrete of the Blessed Isle is an unprecedented opportunity for him. He's literally concreted now. Yeah. He's and taking the Blessed Isle from the realm. <laughs> so you, can you think of anything that would draw him away? The Princess Magnificent idea is, is a solid idea, but you'll need more. You'll need... <coughs> he's an accomplished necromancer. All of the mm-hmm. Death Lords have it to some degree. He'd be able to to tell. But if we had another another Death Lord, they'd be able to mask that taking mask. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, if you tried... If you could probably distract him with your combined resources, which outmatch that of the Death Lords, obviously... But you would have to keep the charade up, and that will detract you from taking the aisle. It'll it'll prolong the cruelty and the casualty of the war on the aisle. That's true. He's he's empowered the dead that you rose with the plague. No. The infection has been aggravated. Maybe we should go up to the mask then. He'd be more capable of keeping up the charade. Well also, I might have an idea. Okay. Oh man! Depends on how everyone else is feeling about this. I mean, I don't know. It's, what's it's my limit? And nobody <laughs> offered him shit. Nobody just come up with, "Oh, we'll give you this." Yeah, no. So, Let him ask for it if he goddamn wants it. All right. I'm gonna, oh, would you like a pirate? And we're back. So, oh man! All right. So you guys get all together to make another trip to the underworld. Yeah, we were just there. Who do you uh, who do you bring with you to deal with the Mask of Winters? Social Link characters. Yep. Like Mask Void, like Void of Without and Clad in Darkness. No. Yep. Oh, Clad in Darkness is there. Void of Without is there. That ticking sound. 
Possibly. Life is like a clock ticking. I don't know, we could always bring what's her face as well, but uh, let's bring the devil. Actually, who knows the mask winter's most like best? Uh, his abyssal circle, yeah. except you have only two that are like maxed yeah. out loyal to you. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We don't have to worry about them. Uh, without emotion, over. without feeling, without love, without hate. Breath is like a clock ticking. The Topaz lady would probably best talk to him, but she's not yeah. on our side. So. I don't know if she'd be the best. She's a prophet of the void. Mm, true. I mean. She doesn't really push for the Mask of Winters. Yeah. Probably clad in darkness then, because he's the diplomat. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Void, who's very much like the Mask and a protege. Mm -hmm. So, you, what, what vessel did you take again? Another sky ship? Yeah, probably. Or a Magitech one, or an artifact probably. one? All right, Mask and Clad basically direct you to the mouth of the Void again, which, again, is just armed to the teeth, full of soldiers, uh, specters, horrors from the labyrinth. Uh, it looks like part of Stygia, the, the ghost city that's built on the hole that leads to the under to the labyrinth, has been basically excavated and opened up, and the labyrinth has spread up. Large cyclopean spires and extra-dimensional things like Escher stairs and, and coral tubes that are bigger on the inside and just go on forever have just risen up out of the void, and you can just see, like, hecaton chirates and creatures, you know, feeding up into, uh, into Shadowland pockets that flip over into creation. Jeez. What the fuck? This place is going to shit. Well, I mean, there's a giant shadow land right above it. The calendar of the sh the calendar of shadows is all but broken and not working anymore. It's a large device that moves the sun in the underworld and makes days pass. Yeah, days have stopped passing. That that is not being operated anymore. <laughs> uh. And yeah, you guys take your ship down. <coughs> I am going to gloss over the hecaton chirate and monsters and creatures that are going to try and assault you as you have. You're more than capable of pushing them aside. Diplomatic immunity. I don't think that works in the underworld against monsters. It just works against people. Yeah. You guys move on through until you're at that that infinitely <coughs> large cave that you just came from where Ein Sem Despair was hanging out in the Who Holds Enthrall tomb. And, uh... But most of it is from Opponents of Life. I, I know. I'm, okay. I know. I'm aware! Okay. okay. I know! You? Yeah, because it's a Final Fantasy thing. Abhorrence of life is of life is Zemus. Okay. And yes, Void of the Without and uh, Clad in Darkness direct you to keep going for a, an infinitely long time. It seems like like nothing changes. It's nothing but darkness and that kind of strobing purple absence of light energy that pulses from the the black hole at the center of the uh, <coughs> the underworld until eventually there's a structure. Uh, large and regal, like a castle made out of silver stone and uh, broken blue and purple kind of uh, stained glass and, and bricks. Uh, it sits on a fossilized moon almost that's kind of carved inward, like a, like when a water droplet drops and leaves those kind of that, the, the, if a droplet's frozen, it has that kind of uh, wave rushing up. That's what this looks like, and there's like a castle built on it. And there's large crab-like crustacean features <coughs> breaking out, like this entire thing's a shell for something bigger. And just large, you know, cephalopod or not cephalopod, um, the other one for... Crustacean? Not crustacean. Anthropod? Amphipod? The, the thing for, like, pill bugs and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, those weird kind of, like, little critters that live on the seafloor and have shells, like, uh... Trilobites. Yeah, trilobites. There you go. That, those kinds of creatures. <clears throat> Isopods. And yeah, it uh, he brings you up to this fortress. I never interacted with him. I've never met him. I was the not in of any winters? of the sessions that he existed in. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he remembers you though. <laughs> like straight up, I was never here. I've never met him. Being propped up. Up. The castle of glass and silver that looks tarnished and glowing has a uh, one of the towers. Like it has like uh, an uneven amount of spires <clears throat> and keeps coming out of it. That are all very uh, bulbs, like it was made in a glass blower. Mm. Uh, has an opening for your skyship to dock at. Neat. We're gonna come back, and the tires are gonna be on uh, cinder blocks. <laughs> no ship is a bad neighborhood. <laughs> the floor is made of silver and glass, with uh, uh, prayer circuitry woven underneath that pulses and glows and sends light down, uh, almost like um, like the bioluminescent of predator fish, how they kind of glow in different ways to attract animals to them. Are you sure you guys want me in a glass castle? This seems like a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> well, just don't throw stones. I'm very self-aware. Well, you know, it's... 
The, the structure itself obscures so that, you know, rooms are private and stuff, but the one thing that is transparent through all the structure is the black hole on the horizon. It looks like it's like a black hole peeking over a planet as a horizon effect, dragging stuff into it. And it's that kind of evil, uh, aggressive red and purple outline, like reality's been <coughs> scars swirling inward. Yeah. Void and, uh, void and clad in darkness, quietly and without a word, guide you through. <laughs> <laughs> they don't seem happy to be here either. This place is an oppress is oppressive. That's kind of a mass whole thing. Even no one that, oppresses that me. Says something. No kidding. Well, they've come a long way. <laughs> this place is a tomb, uh, and th- there's nothing here. It's empty. Like there, there are Hecaton Kyrates and Spectres that you see off in the distance, or like in a mirror maze almost, but they don't approach you. Yeah, they uh, they bring you closer, closer to the center, which seems to be much larger on the inside than it was on the outside, and has much more stretches of large uh, balconies and platforms and uh, uh, catwalks without rails of glass, looking over open holes and trenches and pits that lead down to nowhere, staircases that go upside down and spin like um, <coughs> spirals, like uh, like a reef, all made of the same rail, <coughs> until you're brought to the keep. At the very center of this castle, it is made of rock. That fossilized lunar surface uh, uh, planetoid material, like an asteroid you made of. The, 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 the silver and the crystal is overhead, but this is like a, a cave that goes inward. And it is actually rather shallow. Uh, light doesn't seem to permeate through here as well. And you can see the outline of a, uh, of a briny, wet, waterlogged rock throne. Like something that was carved out of cave with water over time, like erosion made. I miss thorns already. And yeah, when you approach, sitting in that chair, and you're at basically at an up, upward angle to him, like you can look down at the chair, there's an old man hunched over <coughs> with a smiling mask on underneath, poking out underneath the hood. His old man hands are covered by like the sleeves of his cloak and stuff, and you can't see his feet or anything. The only thing visible under the cloak is the mask. <laughs> uh, void of them without and clad in darkness kind of just stop at the edge of the cave, and you can like see the mask down in there. And uh, clad, you know, turns like we cannot go any further. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's how it happened last time. Oh yeah, right. They wouldn't be in the same room. They went outside the door. You know, you're with us. You can come in if you want. We didn't bring Nightman this time. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> lord! <laughs> you're like, hey, Nightman, do you want to come with us? And he kind of looks up. For part three. <laughs> All over time. <laughs> I like this arm. <laughs> Every time. Mm. I get this feeling. Such <laughs> a good idea. Ah, uh, don't worry, I'll just punch you. I punched him good before we left. Nightman? You really yeah. didn't. <laughs> no, I know. I'm just... Ugh. <laughs> uh. Awesome. All right. So yeah, the two of your two abyssal allies will wait at the outside of the cave in the keep. And the mask is in there. You can see it from here. Let's throw rocks. You can see the mask, but it's like staring downward at the floor, and something about him looks wrong. Like, uh, like if you don't pay attention to him, you can't know. You you stop noticing that he's there. Is this a mask on a stick? (laughs) Probably. He's probably just like a broom with like a mask and a cloak. He's probably not yet able to return to the overworld because he's so weakened from being destroyed. Because so it takes a year and a day, doesn't it? Well, oh, woe is Either him. that or they fucking gremlin on it's... this bitch. Um, it's almost been a year. This music is so enchantingly mild. It feels like we're going to walk into like a meadow of flowers. Like... What and then there's going to be, like, a save point and a full heal point and an item right? shop and you're like, oh, no. <laughs> right? <laughs> It's about to go down. You know things get serious when they say point and heal point before. <laughs> Only what you take with you. Plus the save point. Anyway. Don't say anything smug. <laughs> <laughs> We're winning. That, that laugh was in character. <laughs> how's you, how's you doing, man? Remember when we fought you last time? I did so well. Remember I almost punched you? Now look at you now. We That's didn't bring Nightman. 
Yeah. yeah. So, extra, extra putting that out there. If I start swinging, everybody back the. He's not going to come for the third and final visit to the Mask of Winters? No. Should we call him and wait? Do we, should we ask? <laughs> hey, man. Yo, come down. He's on the, the ship the... waiting. <laughs> Can we put him in crime? No, no, no. He's yeah. ready bubble wrap. He's like, they told me I'd be safer this way. <laughs> <laughs> the bubble right. wrap melts to his flesh. Uh, so good. Yeah, let's approach him. <laughs> did you do Bizarro? No, I did. Yeah, I didn't try Oh, okay. All right, so you enter the the old saltwater cave. Yep. Yep. All right. Yeah, uh, an oppressive aura of uh, oppressive aura of oppression. Not oppression, <laughs> but um, depression. Depression. <laughs> Void energy, like just that kind of entropy. heavy entropic miasma permeates this place. Uh, this brings me back to what the last time you were in front of him. Yes, Killer Queen, thank you. Does he seem to register us as we get closer, or is he just he, the only thing that moves is the cloak? It kind of billows for to an unseen uh, breeze, <clears throat> almost like uh. Like a curtain in a haunted house. Like, it just kind of just moves of its own accord. I'm gonna stop maybe a few feet from the throne. Just lean from side to side. Try to figure out if he's just ignoring us. <laughs> asleep. He's very old. <laughs> he's very old. Is he dead? Did he die? <laughs> did he die? Yes, dead? he did die. Can Death Lords die of old age, though? He's a ghost. <laughs> a ghost. Die of old age? Can ghosts die of old age? Nobody's answering my question. There's bringing more questions to the table. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm not talking to him. I've never met him before, so you can... I'll just say something smug if I go first. Am I the only one who interacted with him before? Because yeah. aside from you, Mr. Yeah, Pachelon... Yeah, we were the... I've never <laughs> met him. I've been around. You guys, like, you were there the last time we... I don't know. What? No, I wasn't. You love talking, talking to about? Death Lords. Mm. You do it all the time. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you promise them terrible, terrible weapons of destruction. And they don't deliver. Yeah, because you're just that shitty of a person. Killer Queen, you're the you're the talky lady. Oh, God. <laughs> you have words. You're the one in the stabler relationship. <laughs> I was unable to thank you before for that path to uh, Arcathonia. So, I'd like to do so now. Shame about your city. <laughs> As someone's holding him back, holding the wanderer, just keeping his mouth shut. <laughs> How? I'm in armor. Good luck with that. Oh, look, you so can. I hate to approach you for a favor so soon after thanking you for the last. But, as you must know, we're on a tight schedule. Does he appear to hear us? He, you don't get any body language from him. He's just being <coughs> completely still? Yeah, like, the clo- the only thing you see of the Mask of Winters other than the cloak he wears is the mask, which is kind of just staring down at an angle. And you guys are coming from the- the cave is on a slant, so you guys are ba- basically above him as you're walking down. Please tell me I'm not and talking- the mask is pointing down at the, uh, should, should I shake him? Basically. Please tell me I'm not talking to a coat hanger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna approach him, like, straight up. All right. And, uh, kneel down. He has hands, I'm quite sure. Yeah, they're covered by the cloak. I'm gonna- Try to move the cloak up. So you can see if he... Do, do ghosts have pulse? Pulses. <laughs> do ghosts have what? Pulses. Oh. <laughs> you, uh, you, like, touch his hand and, like, try to see? Yeah. Oh, man. Take five straight. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ow. Instantaneously. There's a camera flash effect, uh, and you guys like get, like, a white kind of strobe uh, as uh, entropic energy courses through your hands. <laughs> Oh, this is him. Like touching a bare wire. Stick. Because <laughs> stick is our jammer. I start poking with the Devastator's axe, which of course I brought again. I have necromancy. Can I tell if he's... If something's wrong with him? If he's meditating asleep? He's probably listening to you, but you haven't really... He's just ignorant. ...explained why you're here. Okay, okay, fair enough. The lion... The, uh, what's his full name? The First and Forsaken Lion. The First and Forsaken Lion has the gall to interfere with our attempts on the Blessed Isle. As you are his equal, <laughs> we would like to approach you for your aid in removing him. 
the uh, the mask kind of starts tipping up. Like it, it looks very it looked very mundane and non threatening and kind of under that like like that hanging loose cloak, but like it almost seems to the mask itself almost seems to kind of tighten and the shadow effects change on it as yeah his back the hunch the old man hunch he has kind of straightens up a bit. <laughs> oh, well, well. Yeah, he lifts up his hands, which are still under the cloak that you never really see, mm-hmm. and kind of just tents them as the the head that the mask is uh, bolted to leans forward, his fingers tented underneath his chin. And what could an equal such as myself do in service of the great solar deliberative? We need to pull him away by any means necessary. And we are aware of his tie with the woman, Princess Magnificence. Yes. The folly of mortal and ghost alike. <coughs> to love, to care, to desire. It is a most exquisite string when pulled properly. And you are the man who would know this. You know how to pull at those strings just right. You flatter me, but you are not wrong. Strings control all sorts of things. Desire for a mate, the wish to have an equal at your side. Mother's love for her children. Grief at the loss of a loved one. These can pull people in such interesting ways, to such interesting locations, when properly applied. They can. It's what's brought us down here. It's need, desire. Surely the great deliberative, the lawgivers above, would have their own plan for dealing with a rogue warlord. Indeed. Unfortunately, as I mentioned before, we are on a tight schedule and he is a unexpected distraction. Hmm... And what of the Black Harem? Princess. We uh, had a disagreement, and she is unavailable for a time. Most impressive. Give me her panoply. Majestic. If you please. I don't think she means he means a parasol. That's exactly what he means. What the fucking parasol? Uh, Yes. You could just make a better one. One that's significantly more beautiful, yes. I wanted a trophy. We're gonna get to this loser who doesn't even need it or want it. You can steal it later. I mean, we steal a lot of things. Do you give her the fucking do you give him the fucking bear? Give him the stupid fucking God damn it, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> he uh he like lifts back the cloak to reveal wizened and gnarled hands. Like just hands made of corpus, like of an old man in his nineties. Gross. And he just lifts it above the parasol and kind of hovers in front of him. And uh, he kind of just strokes his hand across the the flanks of the uh, material and fabric it's made of. And then just hands it back to you. Oh. That's too easy. I could bring the lion here at the behest of his desire for the heron. But we'll need material and payment. Of course. On the surface world where the sun still shines, there lies a five-fold ruler. Mm -hmm. An empress bedazzled in crimson. You will bring me her soul. Um, That seems acceptable. Do you agree? Was the empress's soul? Yeah. Uh, She won't need it. We should just we should just destroy it. Isn't and I give it to Destiny tied to her tied to her soul or just to her life? <clears throat> the mask looks like yeah. he, he doesn't even acknowledge that. Like that's not even anything he's thinking of. What would you want it for? We have come to blows several times before, but I believe that with our taking of the Blessed Isle, we can come to a more peaceful agreement. I'm a most charitable host. I do not believe there'd be a need for aggression. Fucking flashbacks, man. No need for aggression. Only what you bring with you. 
soul then. <laughs> it's not the first time we've handed one over. No aggression. Now whip your father to death. Mercifully. He didn't do that. <laughs> no, he just made it happen. And then it's like, I didn't do anything. They're doing it. Yeah, I just spoke this thing. Does that sound like a good deal? I Stand I disagreed him. with coming to visit him in the beginning, but... I uh, think it... Well, what do we need for soul for? Literally for nothing. destruction. It would just pass on otherwise. Yeah, you're just going to let her go into left at otherwise. Yeah, um, it's not like we're going to trap it in a Yasuo crystal and torture it forever. Well, well I that's mean, that honestly what, what I thought. Doing, that's, that's what the Majestic I know would have done. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> torture <laughs> forever. <laughs> just snowed it up. I like specifically don't like that kind of shit. No, but, but the, like, other, like, the other letting ride him from. have it is probably stupid shit. Should like be that's nice gonna happen. Yeah. So I that, know, that would be the reason we wouldn't, is if we're just we, we already let all the Death Lords do all the things they want to do. But like, yeah, whatever. At this point, I don't even care. I do. I like care. we destroyed every soul on like her entire population, but we're gonna banter about hers. Like fuck that. Yeah. That's yeah, the I one guess. that's worth something. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be delivered to you. Obviously it's worth something. He wants it. Everything has a worth. Yeah, but he's not asking for the other souls, just the one. Yeah, because it's the most valuable. Yeah. Why did I just get slapped then? <laughs> <laughs> because you're really slappable. It's not like it does anything. Because you have a face. There's a tax hands. You know that tattoo you got on your forehead? It says, slap me. Oh. <laughs> oh, I did that before I could read it. I forgot to look at it afterward. Okay. Yeah, he points his wizened old hand at Desert Wolf. He did say he had desires. Sacrifice. Yes. You're the one who can do. Do we have a deal then? No. Deliberative? No. Oh. Do we have a deal? He's going to make... The first forsaken lion and the first of forsaken lion's troops leave. Leave the blessed isle and not attack our other shit. For as long enough that we conquer the isle. I can bring the lion. The tr- the troops are what you brought to the Yeah. Well, the we'll troops... have control of them once again. I mean, yeah. uh, we have necromancers. Well, the troops by themselves will be able to take the sword probably. Yeah. And they're not gonna go no, attack no. our shit. And they'll be our troops as soon as he leaves. Um, he will distract the first fucking lion. The Spectre army you guys intentionally raised on the Blessed Isle is your own fucking problem. He's not dealing with I that. don't give a fuck. No. What I'm saying is, he's not gonna distract him by making him go to Juan May. I want that in the deal, but that's <laughs> not what he's, he's gonna he's do. He's coming here, actually. Yeah. To the Underworld. Yeah. Yeah. To here. For long enough to conquer, for us to conquer the Blessed Isle. Oh. I assure you, you will not hear of him again. So, this works perfectly. Okay. <sighs> you say that like this isn't the most evil man we've ever talked to. <laughs> Death Rose, what will do? Then, yeah. okay, <sighs> then yes. Take his hand. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. He's not going to touch you, people. He's, a, he's an emperor. <laughs> he's already going to have to burn that he's one. He's got people for that. <laughs> I don't, I don't like this plan. I'm just draw a record. All right, you trade the soul of the Scarlet Empress in exchange for him distracting the first Forsaken Lion. Oh man, I will probably be okay. Very well, you should leave. Head to your blessed isle. Fight your war. Slay your enemies. I have work to do down here. I have an old friend I have to get in contact with. He has eyes on what will need to be done. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Parasol. Mine. But it's kind of also tainted now. Yeah, I basically, I only him. get to keep it because he didn't take it. He didn't want to take it. He needed to get a bead on where Princess Magnificent was. You fucking fucks. That's why he asked for her panoply, not her goddamn gear. Stuff that's attached to her. Like that fucking parasol. You fucks. Should have her cloak or something. No, the parasol's <laughs> iconic! I could have just been, okay, okay, just hold up your hand for a second here. Hold literally, up your hand. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> if the situation was any other Death Lord, they'd be like, I need the mask from the Mask of Winters. And they'd be like, give me the mask's hand. And you'd show them the mask. Like, fuck you people. Give me eyes of the first second, eye. The first forsaken line is his goddamn armor. Eyes of despair is his robot arm. God damn it, people. 
They have uh, panoplies. They have symbols. They have icons. We don't do well with other people touching our stuff. <laughs> like people don't phone. touch me. Like people play on my phone. Do you leave the Emperor's Palace? Yes. Double middle fingers the whole way out. <laughs> Actually, it would be... It's a throb! Cinquuple? I don't think cinquuple is a word. Quintuple? Quint- Thank you. Quintuple? Ten middle Quintuple. fingers all the way out? Because I buy my hand. Yeah, so Queen's like shaking off her intrepid arm. It's like, I need a pedicure. Uh, I got you covered. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah you make a deal with the devil. <laughs> Okay, when Again. you call him the devil, it makes me really regret that our party. I'm using system. the Emperor's theme! Yeah. Have another ham wonder. <laughs> this is Emperor Palpatine's theme from Jedi. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, uh, you can kill him after wars, okay? Right? I mean, we never said we wouldn't. Or we could just, you know, have him down here forever. It's like that uncle we go to, and it's like, hey, I need some cash. And he's like, okay. okay. Yeah, but he's always really creepy and... Hey, I need someone disappeared. Okay. Yeah, he's like our mafia uncle. I'll take it under my cloak. <laughs> take refuge in my cloak. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Come here, sweet child. We don't visit him anymore. <laughs> okay. He stopped. All right. You guys get to your sky ship. You leave the lunar castle and the remains of abhorrence of life while the mask of winters reaches out across the the void of the underworld and touches minds with I and Seven Despair and they start to plan. Plan for the future. I'm totally gonna gonna fuck us over. We're back. So, there's gonna be time before that Mask of Winters thing kicks into high gear. Uh, So the question is, now that you've kind of dealt with the the hitch of the underground attack, underground or aerial legion? Let's Sky see. or ground? Let's take care of the underground, just yeah. fully. Yeah, it seems like that's I think more. So with the Aerial Legion, Legion would be basically transitioning into, okay, we focus our attack on the Imperial City, and then we go with the mans, possibly. Maybe. So yeah, underground. Okay. So yeah, you send... Uh, I think what's happened before is that various uh, places in Autochthonia have gotten the, the, their various artifacts and Petropoli-scaled charms uh, up and running to create a gateway into Uvar, underneath the Blessed Isle. Uh, and a war camp has been set up down there. Uh, Colossi have punched on through and set up shop as a kind of home base area. <clears throat> Perfect. <laughs> so yeah, when you head underground to Uvar, it's a giant, uh, nightmarishly destroyed, jade-born uh, nation that you know was wrecked by that gremlin syndromed uh, colossi that came on through before. Mm-hmm. Um, and now it's been rebuilt and reconditioned and patched up with Autochthonian aesthetic and infrastructure. There's like uh, cave-in reinforcing and war platforms and docking bays and large-scale uh, mining equipment that's just been plugged in everywhere. Perfect. The center of the city that used to be kind of like a government hub has been stripped away and in exchange is a large, towering, uh, monolithic spire. You know, it's a skyscraper uh, that is the heart of a uh, colossi. I believe it's Metroplex. Oh, oh, good on him. Yeah, so it's like this big moon-silver spire with pulsing energy going through and like coils and cables everywhere plugged in. Uh, remind me, we should get a few uh, Petropoli to uh, move into the Blessed Isle after for all those destroyed cities. Just replace them. Kind of gorgeous. We're in control of the people now. The food on your plate? <laughs> the food on your plate belongs to the state, a united regime of peace and love. <laughs> pointless work for pointless pay. Alright, so... Uh, Uvar has been reconditioned into a war camp. There are Autochthonian tunnel uh, warriors, crossbows, regulators, uh, all sorts of uh, war parties being set up and training game ready to rush out of the tunnels, murder anything that's in the way, trying to block off access, and then let your ground troops flood on out. Perfect. So yeah, once again, that is the Alchemicals, the Jadeborn, the Earth Elementals, and the Wanderers soldiers. Yep, your troops that the Majestic has outfitted in Gunzosha armor with Magitek weapons and, you know, even just, like, a cheaper kind of 
sorceress artifice for mortals that you've put together to allow them to kind of have a fighting chance and maybe swarm and slow down those dragon-blooded. Yeah, among them are just autochthonians, like gems in their forehead, they have crossbows, they're wearing like trench coats and have like welding masks on. Uh, there's alchemicals here that are ready to leave like different squads. You have dragon-blooded on your side and uh, lots of mountain folk, lots of jade from one. Oh yeah, because looks size on our side too, right? <laughs> Plus the dragon blood that you've recruited, tepid Arata's forces yeah. he sent in people that he could spare. The families we've allied with, yeah. We're gonna have such a good time. Pretty <laughs> sure tepid Arata's actually here. Like, uh, he's among, he's gonna be here because he knows <coughs> oh, the Blessed Isle. Oh, that's a good point. Why didn't yeah. we have him defending the south? Uh, I just assumed he'd show up once this part got yeah. Oh yeah, probably. Now, keep in mind, the Blessed Isle is the size of your normal D&D campaign setting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. there is a lot of ground to cover. There is a lot of forces to be sent. Um, they're going to do their best to avoid places that are specter-ridden uh, and try to push at military encampments or, or find places where the army's been weakened by having to deal with the undead and the first forsaken lion. Um, but they're going to be really hurting until the Aerial Legion shows up. We should have designed, like, trains that laid their own tracks as they went around <laughs> so that we could just have railways everywhere. I mean, we have those. It's never too late. Do you give me a straw for that behind you? Sure, let me pause. Let me and we're back. Uh, ex actually, the, the Jadeborn have been, like, have war weapons that they've also outfitted most of the people here with, and there's uh, various ex machina and divine subroutines from Autocathony have been assigned to this. So you have large spider like troop carriers that are gods and equipment, and you have the elementals here. There is a significant force they're going to divvy up into squads to go through all of the Uvarian <laughs> tunnels. <laughs> And, like, tunnel-crawling gods built for, like, drilling and, like, plating it in armor. Yep. Sounds great. So, is that mm. all? Or what's the reason to help with you? They're just gonna burst the fuck out. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. What's basically gonna happen is they're gonna burst out and start engaging the dragon, the, the realm military across the entire Blessed Isle. Um, you guys being here in person, normally you'd have to deal with the first taken line. Like, you'd have to, like, pull them away and stuff, but... He's going to rapidly disengage from this fight, which resolves the ground issue without oh. having to throw a fist. So I guess we could just do, uh, yeah. the help them set up here, and then do uh, the Yushan invasion. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Like, the, the obstacle here was the first forsaken line, and you just went and solved it. So yeah, we could just oversee them, make sure they're all prepped. Okay. So, Rite of the Valkyries and the this Son of the Heavens? <laughs> Alrighty, so... Actually, before we do, the uh, queen's going to basically bless all their weapons. Like, I don't mean, like, you know, magic. I mean, like, you know, because priests... Moral. Oh, yeah, your people that you had their arms and legs hacked off and replaced <laughs> with, like... They're, they're part of the Yushan thing, actually, so... Huh. They're, like... You know in Cirque du Soleil where they, like, tumble down on ribbons? Mm -hmm. That's where they're going to fall off the ships. To start oh, yeah. Dating, so. yeah. Yeah, Tepid Arad is there. He has that uh, solar-killing spear with him and stuff. He's all ready to go. Remember that, Wanderer? Or remember that sphere? Anthony. <laughs> God damn it, Anthony. The Sorry. spear that bested you. Yeah, remember? Right through your leg. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, Tamarata has that. He's ready to go and start murdering. Oh, that's good. Well, so he's not murdering me. <laughs> well, it's a solar killing spear. But, I mean, to be fair, all it really did was get KJ ketchup. Face killed. Yeah. Yeah, that just went on my uh <laughs> that was so and so. That was, that, was, that was just a resume buffer for me. <clears throat> well I can do that. I have no idea what the fuck his name is. It is it is Chijip, ridiculous. Kijip. K job, K job. Ketchup chip. Kijip Kijip. Can job hand job. That's my next character name. <laughs> my name is Bronk Oslo. <laughs> Shout out to Max Lattis. No. <laughs> Max Lattis is great. Alright, All right. well, yeah, that takes care of the Uvarians. Splendid. Hey, I really would have more for you, but you turned the tide by making deals with the Mask of Winters. Thank you, Emperor. A really good deal. Yeah. You just gave Emperor Palpatine a soil, a toil, a blah, blah, blah. Brock Oswald. A toil of a soul. A soul to toy with. Here. We don't need it. Yeah, Wander, this is where all your people are going to be. They're going to be like... The tunnel people are going to fight their way to clear up the tunnels and establish a base camp, and then once they're established 
and a lot of them are going to die. Uh, then the tunnels <laughs> will be converted into troop deployments. So, like, tubes will shoot troops out uh, and get them out so fast. Can I, can I go with <laughs> them? What did, like, pods that get sent and... Uh... We, yeah, the Gensosia armor does. It makes them not suffer falling damage, and yeah. there's like baffles on them and stuff. Oh, yeah, shit, and, like so, so like Halo stuff. Like, yeah, they're uh, ODSTs. More like Starship Troopers. Yeah, drop pods. Yeah, yeah ODSTs. Yeah. yeah, it's just like you know they'll, they'll come just out of the ground and then like crash and open up like a flower, and then like people will drop down, uh, start stabbing yeah. from above. Exactly. Uh, I just imagine like you know pudgy people, whatever, just being shot from air cannons. <laughs> they're Maybe. not fat. They're, they're all buff. buff. Yeah, basically Even all the tube line, exits will be uh, converted into out. like rapid transit light rails. They don't get fat. They get yeah, like marines from uh, carbon animations. Yes, marines from car bomb animations. <laughs> Carbot. All right. Good. In that case, you guys go to Yushan for the last leg of the siege. Oh man, I kind of even want to pause. And we're back. Oh my god, it's been like half an hour since we paused, and there was such a conversation. <laughs> so many tangents. I don't even remember. We were talking about found footage movies. Sweet so, and sex demons. you guys head to Yushan. <laughs> the heavenly city, the realm of the gods, the old home of the titans, that you guys have absolutely subjugated and genocided. Whoa, 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 whoa. Liberated. The realm of the royal. And gave control over to the royal for you got the son to sign off on that. Hey, I have a nice uh, mansion here. Beautiful home. Uh, high above your mm-hmm. staging area is um, Supreme Omega Weapon, the directional titan hosting the uh, alchemical Petropolis that, in a previous life, shared souls and exaltation with the Majestic. And she is currently, you know, the Aerial Legion is, like, moving sh- moving across ships and getting, like, equipment set up. And a fairly solid fleet is being prepared. Prepared for its bombardment and attack on the Blessed Isle. So, my question is, um, with this fleet of Air Elementals and Aerial Legionnaires, which are the god uh, assault force that Yushan has to defend Yushan... Um, and who else? What else are you throwing at this other than Shockwave? The Queen's, uh... Oh, yeah, your, your ballerina murder people. Also, yep. Lookshy's in the Sky one. Yep, Lookshy Sky in Skyships. Uh, Skywolf is actually here. Skywolf being the flagship of Lookshy. A oh. large dreadnought that they spent ten years building. The best classification of wolf. <laughs> uh, yeah, Skywolf <laughs> is a predatory Magitech ship Lookshy put together over decades because time's gone by since the game started, and it's their flagship. It is brimming with essence weapons and batteries, uh, dragon-blooded soldiers, um, <coughs> deployable like so orbital weapons and stuff. Huh. It's pretty impressive that you know it's basically the the gross domestic product and military output of an entire you know advanced technology nation. That's, that's been, like refining this thing for hey, generations. That's it's, it's the dragon blooded way. They don't just make a brand new artifact that's better than anything. They they start making it and sixteen generations add to it and enhance it. Putting all your eggs in one basket. Everyone puts their name on it. No, it, it's how it's how dragon blooded <laughs> work. Like their swords get powerful more powerful over time because they're heirlooms. Skywolf is an heirloom of a nation. Right. It's, it's the, the logical conclusion of how dragon blooded enhance their artifacts. I'm picturing it. Skywolf like- is on par with something the majestic can make, or even better in some parts, because it's had generations of enhancement to it. I'm picturing, like, when a kid makes, like, a Lego castle, and it's like, you know, a kid made it, but it's still, you know, it's really good for what a kid can do! Good job, buddy! And you, like, cut to, like, the room over where, like, their parents have made, like, a castle, and it has, like, turrets and buttresses and stuff, and it's like, yeah, your castle's really good, little buddy. <laughs> <They'll do that. laughs> but yeah, due to the nature of how terrestrial essence and artifice works, Skywolf is on par with something you guys create, or yeah. if not a little bit better, because it's just had so much infrastructure put into it <gasps> over so much time. It's like fine wine. It he just speaks gets better blasphemy. all the time. Yeah. yeah. Certainly not on par with, say, the Shrike, but then I mean, you guys never killed a Shrike. Your words are heresy. That's here, ready for the murder. All the murder. So... Seeing as you guys are staging this from you, Sean, uh, what is the plan? Well, I was thinking that since we basically hitch our plan on taking the Imperial Man, which is the Imperial City, which conveniently enough has a Yushan gate right next to it, we could always try spearheading just through that one gate, just to flood that city with 
all the might to, so we can take the man's... Using one gauge would be a, kind of a bad idea, because then they'd have a place to concentrate fire that on. That is them. called a choke point in military terms. If Spearhead! If we're attacking from everywhere, then, uh, like, multiple gates, it's much easier. Your ships can't fit through the Yushan gates. Right, yeah. You can even bigger. We're just going to attack from the sky, then. Carpet ball. So the plan is to... So, yeah, for, for your large armada stuff, you'll have to come in from Mount Maru. Mm-hmm. Okay. Other than that, you'll be deploying, like, Air Legion people through the Yushan gates. Hell, you even have the Calibration gate to summon. Oh, yeah. 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 Perfect. All right. So, yeah, their navy is tied up with the firewall you set up, that tornado of fire. There's smoke everywhere, isn't there? Uh, so re- remember, Blasel's huge, and the ocean mm-hmm. is huge. The Inland Sea is huge. Well, I think you mentioned, oh, the sun doesn't shine on the Blessed Island anymore, so... I don't know if I mentioned that. Maybe we'll check the recording, and if sure. you're right, everything's good. And if we're wrong, <laughs> I'll set someone on fire. Sure. Hint. It's not gonna be... <laughs> There is a haze, though. There's an industrial smog, uh, just from the fact that you're burning millions of tons of oil constantly in a circle around the entire continent. Take that, Captain of a Titan. <laughs> Eat a dick, Gaia. Uh, <laughs> that episode of Mike Tyson Mysteries. We are the captain of the rainforest. We are the captain planet villains. All right. So. This will probably be like the final assault you guys do before you try to take the Imperial Mance. My question is, where do you guys want to station yourselves? Mm. I'd almost say the flagship, but we should probably be doing actual ground stuff since we're insanely powerful. Well, if you want to be doing the planning, we have that sun's uh, war room from the Primordial War in Yushan. What? I, I think I tend to agree with the Killer Queen. I think we should be doing some groundwork. It's just, do we want to be together as a ground unit, making our way towards the um, Imperial Man? Yeah. Or do we want to just bomb the five of us in separate areas, and then after you know given amount of time, we just all meet up? For the most part, I think with the Sky Legion, we should be infiltrating places that are gated and, you know, high security, so we can attack from above and get into towers and uh, mm-hmm. take major infrastructure, basically. Okay. So should we just start with the Stormy of Meru, because there might be some useful stuff there for taking the Imperial... It's been looted, like, repeatedly. Also, Mount Meru is the capital of the Solar Deliberative and is an entire city-state unto itself. Like, the combat's happening now on the Blessed Isle. Like, your ground troops are fighting and murdering their way through. Yeah. Any taking from Mount Maru should have happened before now. Yeah. Because there are things on Mount Maru. Things that fight back. Things that get angry. Hmm. So we should leave from Mount Maru for now and just concentrate on the Blessed Isle itself. Alright. So, are you guys all going together? Separate? What is that plan? Well, I'm where is the Imperial Mounts? Man, Man, sorry, in, it's at the uh, Imperial City. The sort of creation is in, in the Imperial Mountain. The Mans is in the Imperial City. But we need to go to the Mans to get to the sword. Sweet Jesus, yeah. this is a big place. Okay, yeah. um, Blessed Isle is enormous. It's like the so size of Eberron. Where? What are the major buildings of import? Uh, the Imperial Mans, the heads of the various uh, dynastic houses where their military is kept. We should be forcing the, the, fam- we should be forcing <laughs> the families to surrender. The major families. Mm. We should, oh, yeah! We should be taking them hostage and shit. Okay, yeah, that, that, that's definitely a thing. Uh, there's also the Heptagram, the Academy of Sorcery, the largest collection of sorcerous knowledge and might on in the, the, in the realm. We should stop that before they can counterattack using magic. Oh, the Heptagram yeah. is fortified. Oh, start- man. Demons yeah. for days. <laughs> but we'll just take a little bit. <laughs> Which you've committed to yeah. not yeah. the ground assault. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know, I just drop the sun on it. <laughs> yes, yes, you're very pretty. <laughs> yes, yeah, The heptagram could be a really good area just to uh, yeah. take. I don't know. What are the other places? Because also the and dragon, the dragon blood family, making them surrender could cause them to cause their troops to retreat. Yeah. Well, for <coughs> there. <coughs> Other brethren. Yeah. It's if so we deceiving. keep them captive, we should make them not be in the same room with each other. Oh yeah, because yeah, otherwise course. they're just going to team up and kill us. Yeah. 
Because they're dragon blooded. They're super powerful their armor, dragon blooded. Their war striders will ascend down and combine together. I was just actually thinking that. I'm like, I was like picturing them like having <laughs> taking oh. away their morphers. Oh, no. yeah, we should capture the families with the biggest militaries. Yeah. That's Ma- name. Cathic, Tepet, Cathic, Tepet, and another one. Tepet's yeah. fucked. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. They're like basically absorbing the other stuff. shit. Yeah. Name on. I thought Catholics yeah. were a bunch of like artist losers no, that have sex with They're orgies. military. Catholics are the most military one. I think uh, I it's Catholic. Cath- was the most military. No, Namon's not a military family. It's Catholic, Tepet, and I want to say, not Cessus, but Sinus. Sinus is the one that has the stupid orgies that everyone thinks lame. <laughs> There's Wait. one of the houses that's really lame, that all the other houses are like, you guys are gross. House and lame. Liddell. Namon was the next in line to be the emperor. Yeah, Namon's yeah. a shit kicker. Namon the woman. Okay, I thought that Namon the house was is there. fairly aggressive. But yeah. d- Namon's basically the emperor's stat block copy pasted. If we cut the if we caught Namon, then, then that would really demoralize. Fighting them. Namon will be just like fighting the empress. Yeah. Well, aren't they gonna be there when we try to attack the empress? I guess. Well, probably the empress has in the, the imperial mans. Well, who knows? She's probably gonna have bodyguards. She does. Yeah. She's got friends on the other side. Okay, Which maybe side? not name on then. Who are some weaker, like family family leaders themselves who are weaker who have yeah, like Tepet, uh, uh, Tepet <laughs> Liddell, Sinus, uh, Catholic. I'm just na- listing off names off the top of my head. Who's the one her. that's the Empress's favorite? She has a favorite that's actually super weak. That would be and the dead one. <laughs> There's no dead one. The her, one who she got the skull. Rage is good. Let her be no, that, angry. No, that's not one of her daughters. No, but it was one of her favorites. No, I know you exactly what Nicole's talking yeah, about. Yeah, she literally has a favorite daughter. Yeah. Mm. And it's one of You guys have planned to assassinate weak. her. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we tried to once, remember? But wouldn't that just enrage her and be like, now Veneef. I'm going Veneef. All oh, right, how's Veneef? Again, Cathic, Sinus, Izelzi, Liddell, Namon, Nellens, Pelops, Regara, Cessus. Wow. Tepet and Veneef. She's already Fucking pretty angry. Fucking pumping babies like it's going out of style. Well, those are just the 11 most successful children. She's had hundreds. Maybe we should capture uh, House Veneef. How then. old are they? Uh, Namon's like 200. Because like, even once every five years, which is like... Well, she's over 750 years old. That's how long she ruled for. And before that, she was still around. Yeah, she was a mature dragon-blooded soldier, so like 80 any other suggestions? For what to... well, yeah, I think either taking the head of houses, taking the uh, university would be a good idea too. Yeah, Catholic, Cessus, um, and Tepet are the military houses. Force, that means that we'll have a good base of operations if we do take it. Yeah. Ooh, you guys should take House Regera. They're the financers. They control the money. Yeah. That's not really important. Oh no, right the now. money. The one that's, you know, we printed the giant pyramid shooting jade at you. Oh, fucking lord, it's doing straight damage. Given how fast we're trying to take this over, well, though, I think. A, I cursed their whole land so their money's not as plentiful. And B, I'm sending out the counterfeit bills everywhere. So their money's not good. Nicole. Don't just put it there. She's just gonna do it again. She's I mean, there's the, the Imperial Treasury right on, right on the Imperial Mountain. We're, just, we're, we're trying to take this so go. we're trying to take this so fast though that deal, take damaging their money isn't really going to do anything. Yeah, 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 exactly. We don't care so, about the money. Like, if, they're, if they're immediately being assaulted, no one's going to be like, okay, so you know, new cannons and stuff like that. That's going to cost you. Yeah. I mean, certain people might be like that, but royal. I have all the monies in the world. I still yeah, Namon's the strongest family. Like they're 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 the biggest house. <clears throat> okay, let's take the name. All right. No. Take the uh, university and take the knee. Those t- sound like two very big separate things. Two um, different things. But the yeah, heptagram, it, I think, is where you're going to find a lot of the name on uh, specialists ho- hold up, you know, doing battle plans and stuff. Oh, that would be good to interfere with then. And also the heptagram, if we take it, that's a really good defense position for further military uh, strikes. Mm-hmm. Boom. So what do you think? Heptagram or the family? Um, Heptagram sounds like it's causing a bunch of shit, so it's probably best we get the fuck rid of that. Well, it's, we'll be easy to take the need to take the Heptagram. Because if it's a, you know, Sorceress Academy prepared for assault... That's yeah, like, I didn't say it would be easier to take it, I just said it, so it would be better. Well, the question is how much the influence stuff outside. Because if you take the head of the house and they're still in control, 
you have what one tenth of the dragon builded in the first uh, takeover. If you take the place, okay, you have something else you defend. And I think Veneef is only like seventy. Yeah. It's so, not only is it a new place to defend, but it's a place where they've got people strategizing and working actively against us. Plus she only has three. six exalted children. Jeez. Huh. She's a new oh. house. Is she the favorite because she feels sorry for her? No, it's just the Empress has favorites. It's like the one crippled puppy. And like, oh, you're so stupid and lame. You're my favorite. Oh, yeah, they don't, they don't use archery that much. They all use fire wands and, like, uh, fire dust-based weaponry. Oh, no. Fire dust. That's something. Like, oh, you're my favorite. I got captured, mommy. Okay, you're not my favorite anymore. Now you're my favorite. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess it's also a question of will she, like, what will it affect? Like, are they just gonna be like, okay, now there's a new head of household and they're taking control? Or, Pretty much. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. Taking the sorcery academy, which has sorcery dicks, name on dicks, and also is about, powerful in the military we strategy. strategy. How about we take the spy nation and say, hey, if you work with us, we're gonna give you, you know, land, whatever. You'll be the first among dragon blooded. That sounds so. like not what we're trying to do, though. Also, Tupperatus, like, um, you're talking about House of Zelzi, the spy masters. Yeah, the fact that they're all disenfranchised and considered traitors and kicked out of Dragonwood society was actually a cover the Empress put up. They're actually the loyalist house that volunteered to be disbanded to look like disgraced spy masters so they could move undetected through realm lands and act as the spy society. Bitch. They're like Clever. the most loyal. They're really, patriots. Really glad you knew that, because, uh, man, that would have bitten us in the ass. Oh, yeah, that would have been just... You fucking people, it's a good man, thing. Man, it's a good thing we, we we do that thing that someone was complaining about us ooh, doing earlier, ooh, how we talk ooh. to people and make them our friends, instead of killing them. Sure ooh. glad we do that thing. It just takes his artifact open and private starts smoking yeah. out of it. Oh, God, remember, so that, that's, remember that spell the wolf had put on him, the one that really backfired? Well, you know, if the dragon blood reproduces so much and lives for so long and build great houses, if we take the oldest ones of them... They're going to be willing to defend against that. And yeah. also... Oh, yeah. They're not, they're not, they're not, they're not, so, I'm like, oh my god, that's an amazing idea. No, Except for any normal person will just go, nope. Yeah, no, like, see, we <laughs> chain them up so they won't be able to use any sorcery. And then... Can, can you, you do that? You don't need to use sorcery. You just need to be like, I'm oh. going to spend one point of magic. I guess we could spam okay. it at them, but... We use magical shackles that make you not be able to use any essence. Okay, okay. that's that's not really a thing. Okay. Magical shackles to stop you from using essence is a very boring thing. It doesn't exist in Exalted. Oh. The Immaculate Order has to get fucking creative when they try to capture an apple and keep it from using essence. Like, a strong guy is put under an infinitely, you know, rough mountain. A fast guy is thrown into a lake of magic molasses. You know, uh, a guy that can break his chains because he's an excellent thief master and stuff. They chop off his arms. <laughs> it's fucking difficult to capture people, solars, when they're good at shit. <laughs> he's the oblong now. Yeah, but that's not... And also, none of us know that. Yeah, stuff... Okay, okay. Easy solutions like that don't exist in Exalted, where you have, like, like talismans that drain your mana pool so you can't use your character's RPG powers. Also, it's not going to kill dragon blooded because they're also exalted. So it's at worst going to inconvenience them with slight damage. It's just going to kill a bunch of children and stuff like that. Exactly. I mean, they're probably already dead anyways. <laughs> yeah, at this point, we strangled no, see, all if that. they're from the good families, then they're not necessarily affected by the disease because that's in the poor quarters. Right. I mean, another hard target is the Palace Sublime, the head of the Immaculate Order. Right, right nearby the Cloister of Wisdom, the Academy for the Immaculate Order, where all the Immaculate Monks are trained. Where did I put... My murder stick. <laughs> well, that and also fucking the Liminal. The Butcher. He has Kajak's skull. Thus... You want to send the Butcher to the Palace Sublime? He could butcher it. He know how to go there. He could easily uh, come with it's us. It's there! You can see it. Yeah, he'd know like, the inside and the layout and shit, wouldn't he? Or is that not yeah, how could, that works? He could give information. Oh, no. Hey, Sidirios, let's look in the Loom of Fate. The serials kind of look at you guys it's like, you're not getting involved. <laughs> and just like pull up from a record. This is just the fucking building schematics we got from the architect. Uh, we don't okay. have to use the Loom of Faith for this, guys. This is so much more fun. What's up? <laughs> ja! Spiders. What's, what's, the, what's the point of having <laughs> spiders? A, what's the point of having an <laughs> all-knowing like web if you never get to use it? So, That's yeah. called Hunter wisdom, bites. you 
fucking hamster. Okay, we <laughs> don't need it. Would we if have? We don't I don't it, have to use the Loom of Fate to divine the Palace Sublime because I fucking have its schematics from the architect. I didn't even steal them. I asked him for it. What if they changed? The schematics have notes on that. No, they're not magic. <laughs> are they magic? The schematics <laughs> the have a magic the called... Magic. The schematics, lawgivers, have a magic you might have heard of called <laughs> competent, responsible bureaucracy surrounding renovations to civic structures. That sounds boring. These schematics <laughs> have been updated and annotated that. with their changes. Yeah, didn't we help You're fix that so that it works He's better? He's cares about that stuff. I can't say I've ever heard yeah, of that in my entire life. So that bureaucracy actually helps and keeps up to date now, so, yeah. So, the map is written on this, is not written on its class or crystal or, or metal that will stand the test of time for a billion years. It's written on vellum with ink and has been treated to withstand the test of time if properly stored in a library. What is so someone can take magic? I do really like libraries. <laughs> What's a library? I'm just picturing this. She's like looking super exasperated and the Majek is just like, I like libraries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it it gives the serial chocolate for mentioning the word library. Like, I don't need a Pavlov bell. They're, they're like trying not to get I'm like, okay, you don't want now. the chocolate? Fine. He's like, no, 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 I want the chocolate. <laughs> All right. You don't have to use the loom of fate. Well, when do we get check you? the schematics to the Palace Sublime. Here are the schematics. Here's Tepid Arata, who trained in the Palace of Sublime. Yes, I am here. How do, who knows it's in her workings? Yes, I am here. <laughs> yes, I am. So Just I fucking can... ask him. How do we know this is Same a realm misdirection? Black probably knows, uh, too. I guess this is another... Oh, Palace of Sublime. I went to the military oh. school. I'm not a goddamn bald-headed ed- go. wild hunter. Who's in charge of them now? That, uh... The Mouth of Peace. Oh, right. We didn't kill him, did we? <laughs> It's really hard to tell sometimes. That seems to be a recurring theme. Okay, so... It's in Noble. The, the, it's in Noble, in the southeast. The, the city-state of Noble. <laughs> should we On go, this map! Should we go to the Palace of Line, or should we go to the University? Which Heptagram. Space Hogwarts. <laughs> I like the what idea of taking out... Uh, personally, I like the idea of taking out all the magicians. Or whatever all the magicians. Are we killing wizards or monks? <laughs> whatever, whatever you, you want to You don't call. go to the wizard ghost murder suicide party as a good person. <laughs> uh, taking out all the magicians. Yeah, not not yeah. their mages, they're magicians. They're magicians. Some guy. I hate how like, like you murder him and then like you get a call from beyond the grave and it's like... Look under your look under your shoe, <laughs> and there's like a card there. Was that your card? <laughs> <laughs> it just pisses me off. They're always bringing uh, flowers out of nowhere. Yeah. This is by the she evil protector. The the <laughs> <laughs> so, that was yeah. my quarter. Should we just flip a coin? I put that there. Like literally, should we just flip a coin since these are both two good options? Sure. Sure. The no, House Sublime is the home of the uh, Wild Hunt and the Anathema Hunt. Oh yeah, they're going to be kind of a pain in the ass. Can we not flip a coin when it comes to, like, game-changing war, guys? <laughs> well, I mean, no one else really cares. I mean, I say we should go for the heptagram. I say we vote. Mostly because I don't want to have to fight all those guys right now. Then again, Wild Hunt are also guys we have to fight, and they are huge pains in the asses. I mean, they that's also where any Sidereals of the uh, Bronze Factor would probably be given the- Oh, I don't think they're called the Bronze Faction anymore. I think they're just called the Rebellion now. Good for them. That <laughs> means that we can just call them terrorists. <laughs> oh. Who taught you that word? <laughs> we learned it during a, a birthday. The Countess! <laughs> during a certain Fuck festival. The, there's a little time, you know, <laughs> when something happened. Oh. <laughs> you guys. We're the worst. Yes. This so. is not representative, representative of what Exalted was intended to be. <laughs> Endless 9-11 jokes. I'm pretty sure the original <laughs> creators... No one's going to get that until you... The original <laughs> creators okay. have stopped listening a long time ago. So, yeah. One Definitely of the two. wouldn't want them to listen to this. They'd be so upset. <laughs> one of the two. Oh, we're sorry. We're not sorry. Sorry. One of the I was just going to say, we're not sorry. sorry. Yeah, sorry. but these two are the major ones, it seems like. is The Academy... The, or the, the, the Palace Sublime... The Heptagram. Pleasure Palace. The Palace Sublime. The Heptagram. <laughs> uh, House of Neef. Or um, whatever that 
fourth. The magicians. <laughs> the magician. So we can do these three major things, or beat up that street magician. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him; he's just standing there like a statue. It's a T for Tony Wonder. <laughs> so, yeah. um, you won't stop asking me. I think card. the Palace of the Blind is probably our. You know, will do the most damage if we succeed in it, but it's also going to do the most damage to us. The Heptagram is going to do. A decent chunk of damage to them, and probably won't do a ton of damage to us. Yeah, I mean, so it's it's how much damage do we want to take versus how much damage do we want. Sorcery to Academy is probably gonna be more di- more difficult on our troops. I think if we go to the uh, no. Pleasure Palace, no, it should be us. If we go to the uh, yeah Heptagram, we're the best sources around. So, what's any magic compared to the solar magic? I mean, a die for the dick, because. Sorcerer doesn't mean pointy hat in Shadowrun. <laughs> Sorcerer means an elder exalt or a beginning exalt in jade armor with a dieclave who knows wood dragon's claws or flight of the brilliant raptor. I'm sorry, dieclave of the deck? <laughs> Is that what we're going with? Gentle jousting. I <laughs> <laughs> like him uh. Okay. So, <laughs> what do we think? Oh my god, guys. Peter's Come right. to a decision. Magicians, can we get one May on this? Can we get a vote going? All right, I'm going to pause. We're not May. Jesus fuck. I'm going to pause while Peter's gone. We're back. House Sublime. Heptagram. House Veneef for some reason. <laughs> okay, so let's go one at a time. Everyone say what they want. At the same time. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I want... want no, no, no. Wanderer. <laughs> Magicians. So, we have one for the heptagram. <laughs> Majestic. I want to go for the heptagram. Two for the heptagram. Ooh, high five. Which means three. Royal. <laughs> I'm fine either way. Make a cho- choice. Heptagram. Okay. <laughs> and Killer Queen. Oh, gee, I don't know. Uh, heptagram. <laughs> All right, you fucking people. All right, I'm going to repause, and then we're going to attack the heptagram. I like how we're back. The heptagram. I don't remember much about how the heptagram's built, but I'm pretty sure it has multiple sides, like a pentagon or seven sides. What's hepta mean? No. A A or B? Seven. Seven. Heaven? All right, so it's like a seven-sided prism building. Like, you know, like a building with seven sides, like the pentagon, but up. Like a skyscraper and has like a campus around it. I think it's on an island chain too, off the Blessed Isle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, this island chain has been weathering the siege of the Blessed Isle pretty well. Uh, there is a solid uh, burn radius of destruction and military emplacements and demons that have held off these specters that have been uh, waylaying the isle. Uh, they successfully destroyed all the bridges that connected the area and sunk most of the uh, smaller islands that would like access connecting points. And uh, this place is a swarm with uh, demons and elementals that have just been called on up to defend this place. There's also a fair amount of automatons. And just essence creations and bound ghosts. So, you guys drop on down from Maru. What are you taking with you for the heptagram? What, what resources are you taking with you? Hmm. Probably going to take my forces to an invade since they're good at wall climbing and shit. Okay. And they're infiltrators. My Is that all, guys? Are, my dudes are kind of busy. Me and my wolf, basically. Right. Um, As everyone's laughing because no one remembers that bloody wolf. What about those foldable people? That the, our Shockwave uses the foldable people to run her like mm-hmm. stuff. They're not soldiers. Sure. You don't want them. Um, Any look shine there... to go with us since we have their skyships? Well, that's what I'm asking. Are you diverting a significant amount of resources to this, or are you guys going on your own to bust some heads? Are there any we other... should probably go in alone. Yeah. Think. Are there any other exults that are doing anything? Everyone is doing something. Everyone, if you're not... Pu- if you want exalts to come with you, you are pulling them off critical missions. Yeah, then fuck them, I guess. Yeah, we don't need to do that. We, can't, we have to be careful not to do well. We're not going to like, kill yeah. the Empress right after this, so we don't have to do it, I guess. Oh, jeez. I was, I was going to think think about using uh, Sunder the Greater spell, but my god, every time I end, end a spell with it, I take one die 10 damage. 
Just use some sun miracles that dispel the low magic in the area stuff. I don't think this is low magic. I think this like summoning demons and shit. Yeah, it's not low magic. Uh, so we don't need sun to be well, well, greater. We just need sun to the theocracy. Lesser. Oh, this can affect uh, way and gate spells actually. <laughs> It's just I don't want to take that much ja- damage just for. Uh... Mm-hmm. Then don't use insta cast. Use quick cast. No, which... it's it's uh it's not even an instant thing. It's just it's you using the spell because it's feedback. Oh yeah. All right, so you guys are taking a sky ship or like like a proper artifact oh. ship. I guess I could t- take TJ. Your war strider? Yeah. Awesome. All right, you guys approach the heptagram on your sky ship coming down from Mount Maru. Um, your arrival is heralded by a crashing thunder as the clouds part from the Imperial Mountain, uh, the ever-present kind of clouds that cling to it, as the sky opens up and Shockwave descends down bigger than life, you know, a warship, uh, <laughs> and is covered on all sides by fleets of skyships, the Aerial Legion, uh, people on wind blades, which are like personal flyers, and, uh, elementals, and Skywolf, the, the, um... Look shy in capital ship at its own, you know, uh, supply fleet comes on down. And bombing runs and attacks and assaults start beginning across the entire Blessed Isle. Spread out fairly thinly because, again, the Blessed Isle is huge. I assume they're attacking key points, though. So. Yeah, they're supplementing the ground forces you guys set up. Mm-hmm. And uh, Void Within Without and your other, you know, sorcerer and logistical exalts are going across the Blessed Isle, rounding up specters and getting them where they need to go. Because, you know, you don't just need abyssals for that. You have other exiles. Dragon Bloodeds, and Solars, and Abyssals, mm. and Exigens. Yeah, sure, but I was talking more about just people who can take care of this shit. I, I'm assuming What's-His-Name was sent to the Heptagram, uh, to the uh, Palace Sublime with a task force, uh, the Butcher. Yeah, hmm. probably. Destroyed take care of it. Alright, the heptagram is covered by a storm wall, like a large buffeting whirlwind of essence and uh, elemental wind because of all the dragon blooded there. And there's also like fire breaks and large emplacements for like uh, chest high walls for guarding made of stone, you know, like, a, like in a first person shooter. And uh, even the seas around it are like swirling like a vortex, tearing, like rushing up against the edge of the wall, ripping down soldiers. We're in the benediction, aren't we? I, I can probably destroy this barrier, though. I mean, you did in the first season, so I'm pretty sure you can now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, as soon as you guys start to kind of come in range, a lot of the towers in the heptagram start laying loose, like, arrows and crossbows and siege weapons at you. Ah, uh, the thing that makes us so ranged stuff can't hit us. Fuck you, ranged stuff. Yeah. Majestic deflects it. Well done. Yeah, eventually someone's going to dispel that, because it's... Like an effect on your war strider. I don't have to. I don't have, the I don't have a war strider. Yes, you do. War strider. It uses the war strider rules. Yeah. I'm not talking about that. My martial arts style makes it so ranged stuff can't hit me or my allies. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's so I'm just sitting there being like, the "Fuck you, hoping. mother." <laughs> well, I sitting... assume you're piloting the ship, so it just manifests. No, no someone else is piloting, and she's using the martial arts style on the bridge. Oh, it's a martial arts style. This is why I need Nicole to specify <laughs> that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah my, my my ship is garbage. It doesn't do anything. It it can wreck non magical stuff and also non magical people. But yeah. I mean a normal ship could do that. It's just pretty. <laughs> and that's well, fine. Well, is supposed to be like an extension of you too. Someone else is probably I can't tell if that was a savage <laughs> bird. <or laughs> so you're saying that the I don't know if it was an intentional However savage bird. However you want to take it. <laughs> I'll be over here fighting dudes with my armor that's an extension of me. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are dealing with the heptagram now. How do you approach? The sky is alight with opponents. You have stuff for dealing with uh, large crowds. Yeah, mm-hmm. my gun, I guess. I can that's probably nice. gather people up and throw them into the ocean, or whatever. Alright, sweep people up with your gravity well. Yeah. Um, so you just got devour of armies. Close, you know, I can just go. Oh, just how do you want to engage the heptagram to get on board? Why don't we just land on the roof and punch our way down? Charge the that clue uh, that smash one. right through. Medicine yeah. addiction. Surprise, motherfucker. I think it's smash so often. 
Yeah. Every time. It's a battering ram. <laughs> it's your personal transport that they keep using for war. <laughs> I mean, I'd use the Bright God's canticle. You insist on that. using it every time we go somewhere, so yeah, we're going to take advantage of its <laughs> what it's got. It penetrates. <laughs> the Majestic's penetrator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so <laughs> Queen's like, I thought you t- you said you wouldn't tell anyone about that gift. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Fucking lord. Let's ride the penetrator. <laughs> what's, this, what's this switch to? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, Marvin, I don't get it. Why Marvin Gaye starts playing over the speakers. <laughs> I don't get it. Why is the cockpit rotating? <laughs> so. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's how they make baby alchemicals. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, right. The fence of the iron tide, but I don't think your ship has that, does it? So it moves and it's not affected? Yeah, but it can be probably dispelled. Well, yeah, I do have the vets, uh, whatever. I have the thing where I can move whenever I want. However, you can't stop me. Oh, you can have the one that you teleport oh, to within some range. What? This is one of the things oh, you can plug into your water and teleport. So, how are you dealing with the heptagram? Yeah, true. That's what we're discussing. Um, yeah, just we, we, we want to focus the conversation. <laughs> mm-hmm. I I vote just dropping down on it and yeah, on the roof. Yeah. Roof. Okay. Um, there are clouds and clouds of things in the air to fight back against you guys. So you'll be engaging the swarm then if you try to land on down. And uh, trade. Okay. Unless we go under or something. Or there's probably some stealthy ways to do this. Can't it's, go a it's a mob, and Benediction can do with mobs. It can do with, like, non-magical. Like, like losers. Non-magical aren't. barriers, but I think with mobs you can also tackle them. Something that's not a war before, I think. So you're landing on the roof, you're dealing with the mobs, I'm moving forward. Yeah. If that is a yes. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than rather than idly thinking about the mechanics of it, I'm just gonna move forward. Yeah. Alrighty. Alright! And we're back! So, listeners, you might have noticed thir- certain things are different. We have a new mic set up that happened in the two weeks it took to film the two halves of this episode. Shock and awe. We've also killed and replaced one of the players. You'll Ooh, never guess, guess whom. Did I do it alright? <laughs> so you guys are going to invade the heptagram you're there at the heptagram at the top of the building at the center of the heptagram it's full of demons and elementals and mortals and magicians and magicians <laughs> yes change of room and dragon blooded wizards <laughs> Everyone. No, he didn't say wizard. He said magicians. Wizards, he did illusions, magicians. Tad. You don't have time for my illusions. Oh, oh, repeat's not on anymore. There we go. <laughs> Fixed it. Everything's fine. So this is going to be the big swarming melee. Will you guys destroy the heptagram? Kill everyone in the heptagram? Take, Take it over. Yeah, take it. It's a good defensive position for our soldiers. It's also full of people who want to kill you. So tell it's empty, to... devoid of human life. Just tell them yeah, to leave. Either take it or Baron. destroy it. One of the two options. Preferably take it. What's this I hear about a core? Just do it your own accord. Alright, so in that case, you guys are approaching on what? We're, we're flying. On your ship? Yeah. On the That's back of That's how dogs. this last session ended. We were flying up. Okay, comics do this all the time. At the end of one comic, they'll be on like a high-tech, sleek super fighter about to dive off into like a Grand Canyon. And the very next comic, because they got different artists and storybooks online, the show will be like a giant jumbo deck, and they'll be over jumble jet. Jumble jet. <laughs> jumbo jet. <laughs> and they'll be over like an ocean. <laughs> Swirls before pine, Devin. <laughs> Swirls before spine. <laughs> and they just change it around, so you're on your skyship. 
And you're gonna fly in. There's like a wind wall and like storms around the area protecting the heptagram. There's islands that have things on it. There's krakens and squids coming up from the depths. Krakens. You know, krakens. Yes, and squids. You sound like Crikey not today. how it's pronounced, Devin. Release the kraken. <laughs> Release the crikey. So what do you do? <laughs> Can I Kill counterspell that uh, wind wall? Are you a solar level sorcerer? Yes. I guess so. <laughs> I guess most of us are. Then yes, it is childishly easy for you to destroy this weak terrestrial magic. Fools. <laughs> Fucking amateurs. Some of lesser spell. So yeah, you make a series of Masonic pentagrams with your hands and undo the sorcerous wonders of <coughs> the I bet you they feel really bad because that's the best they could do. <laughs> yeah, and the, the, the shell wall of wind and storm and probably knives they threw into the storm <laughs> fall. Because they were like, Does fuck it. Kill it some so people when the swords uh, fall on them. Like, oh god, oh god. <laughs> fucking lord. <laughs> this backfired immediately. They should play with some bees there. <laughs> bees. A, a bunch bee. of dead bees? It's a bee storm. <laughs> you're going so fast the bees would fall apart and you just have dead bug parts not on if, you. Not if they were <laughs> magic bees, Devin. Just picturing every once in a while like a bird that's been horribly stabbed at us just fall. Like, oh. <laughs> Looks like that's goose. <laughs> it's cooked. It was stabbed. Cooked. <laughs> that's a dove. <laughs> cooked. <laughs> These knives have all been heated to 3,000 degrees. <laughs> oh, are you, do, you doing the hot knife challenge? It's a challenge now. Well, okay. Cut yourself so there's people on the roof. Yeah, there. there's people on all the roofs. There's like towers everywhere. There's a heptagram amount of towers on each side, and a central tower that's heptagram shaped. You can all jump onto a different roof and beat the shit out of you. What does hep mean? <laughs> I thought that hep- I thought that heptagram actually meant like school of magic. So no, no, it's it means like it's a it's a, it's a shape. Seven. It's like pentagram. Only with seven. Oh, okay, yeah, it's a septogram. Wouldn't a septogram be yeah, it's, yes. it's a star. There's, there's, there's two oh. words for it. You can call it a heptogram, you can call it a septogram. It's the same thing. They decide to go with heptogram because they're assholes. When they, it should actually be septogram because that's how it's it should It's a seven-pointed star. Well, what's oh. a six-pointed star? Hexagram? Hexagram? Oh. <laughs> the number of <laughs> sides this building has isn't a really that relevant in the, in the second last session of the game. <clears throat> It kind of is. The heptagram <laughs> has an amount of sides and towers facing those sides. It's not five, so it doesn't really matter. Hexagram is a six-pointed. Wait, did we, did we bring Hex- two other people? Hexagram? Hexagram. Hexagram. Instagram? <laughs> yes, Devin. Instagram. Did we bring any other Instagram? We're conquering the Instagram. Did we bring any other Instagram? We're going to Oh, the vine. This whole game has been a metaphor for internet censorship. What a stupid thing to base a game around. You know what? Nobody asked you. Metaphors are metaphors are a university student's version of lying. Ron <laughs> <laughs> Swanson quotes right there. Even if it's not actually. All right, well, let me take care of one of these points. Uh, Did we bring anybody else with us? Does I think remember? it's just the five of you. Because we had two more people. That Despite what we might have said 15 to 20 minutes ago, listeners, I think it's just the five of you. I'm going to cast Summon the, Iron, the Black Iron Servitor. Call uh, the Iniquitous here. All right, the Iniquitous sends its battle armor, drops screaming from the sky uh, where it was called from. No was, prisoners. I thought that was destroyed. I don't think it understand would understand the comment of Doesn't take matter. prisoners. It is frothing at its multiple set of jaws and shark teeth and starts just flying in a rage. So oh, now, I did bring TJ. So now we're going to land seven. on the other side where it can't get to us. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, I'm safe, but... Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I'm safe. No Majestic, one ever fucks the with Majestic me. The Majestic just, like, turns around. Turns back around. He looks kind of frumpy. He's like, there we go. That should do it, right? <laughs> Let me roll around this mud. <laughs> Let me forget how to put on eyeliner. Yeah, I'm gonna po- I'm gonna- Let me forget how to put on eyeliner. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to poke out the part of my eye that sees color and patterns. And I'm just going to throw anything on me. You turn around and look in the mirror. Fuck, I'm stunning. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just a hipster. <laughs> Damn it, I have swag. I can pull off anything. Mm. Here, where are these Crocs? <laughs> uh, Nobody can pull off Crocs. So yeah, we should just land and start killing these people. Yeah. Alright, where do you land in the heptagram area? There's like a heptagram amount of towers around the center tower, and there's <laughs> demon swarms and elemental swarms everywhere. How about the tower number pentagram? Is the central pentagram or central <laughs> tower uh, more defended? 
Yes. Let's crash that's, it into that's it. the good one. That's the good one. The other ones. Could I? <clears throat> how how thick do you think the roof is? Can I drop Ooh. to the roof of it? So in my we're armor? Be collapsing the towers now. I want to do the. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I use my um <laughs> technique of using guns? Technique of using. Your gun license. I would, I would like gun to uh, use that thing where I can gravity well, uh, gravity oh. well, uh, to sweep all the people off of the w- roofs into midair. Sure. Uh, the majestic pulls, or yeah, the majestic pulls out hand his hand device. Your hand device creates a gravity well and sweeps aside the extras on the roof. Now they all fall to their death. To their death. Because they're foolish. It right. is violent. It is unexpected. They leave many widows. Also, it was completely effortless. I looked fabulous. The wind blows through my hair. Uh, in a are ship. there widows left, or are they now hungry, hungry ghosts? Well, they're going to die of fright. <laughs> oh, Those no. don't pop up immediately. You don't kill someone, like the ghost pops up immediately. Like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get a I'm the grudge. <laughs> <laughs> they try to get a jump scare in when you think your guard's down. And it's like, hey, see, as soon as he looks away, I'm going to jump out and get him. That's will teach him for killing me. <laughs> I'm the oh, winner here. Cuts to the Death Lord that's I'm making the these plans. <laughs> oh no, it's retarded. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong one. Uh, oh, such a Sinatra. This is amazing. We're off to a great so, start. It's been weeks since we've been together. I killed so. all those bitches. Made it look easy. Because it was. Now well, what? I want to do things that look easy. I jump out of the ship. Alright, mm. you're in free fall. Hey! Too bad that your mom's not here then! What? He wants That's to do things easy. that look easy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> why? Why would you say that? Why would I'm, you I'm, s- out, I'm jumping down to the ship. <laughs> you totally just threw off my whole zone, man. I was in a zone. Don't worry. Your mom's you guys are so dead. casual about the realm. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you. My mom's dead. <laughs> That's why it's easy? Oh my god. The okay. Mask of Winter sends a card. <laughs> Nobody asked you, Wolf. <laughs> it's like, fuck you, corpse. So. <laughs> I thought you said the obvious joke. He does that. <laughs> he has to go oh, back. Fuck. You're like, so, heard happily. <laughs> shall we crash? We're crashing this into the tower? No, <laughs> he's jumping. I'm you did your thing. Um, you did your thing. The Wanderer is now diving from the sky. Flying demons, large things made of carpeted flesh and silver talons are flying at you. Okay, cool. I'm gonna you say hit them. Flesh, and I'm picturing like that carpet, like that carpet pattern. Shag, it's shag. It. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, wanderer. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to not stop falling, so I'll take one with me if I can. Okay. And I just, guess I'm going to sh- shoot those things down with my mob killing weapon. Yeah, that too. All right, so while you're trying to do something to these mobs, they all start dying because the, the royal's up there with his artifacts. Okay. Raining death. Hey, look, people are doing their job for once. <laughs> I'm always doing my jobs. I did my taxes. Is TJ here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you in your TJ? job? I mean, yeah. probably. Your job is being an Either assassin. that or he's in free this fall job above me. <laughs> no. Teamwork? Like, literally, you're, you actually did <laughs> in-game get a job, so technically, I guess that is your job, but... Come on, you're the night cat. The, the Monty Python version of God, which is the cutout magazine. <laughs> but it's the Uncovered Sun's like, are you doing your job, Royal? Are you? <laughs> I'm doing my job. I'm doing, I'm doing my part. Majestic, what's a job? <laughs> Pretty sure he's not. What was that whole thing about making sure innocents don't suffer? Yeah. I mean... Fucking mother throwing her well, kid into the bathtub. <laughs> there are probably a lot of pages and stuff down there. We're just doing their jobs. Like, I mean, old scrolls. <laughs> <laughs> well, then they should be running. Well, oh man, we didn't Wonder do the pamphlets. We we're supposed to do pamphlets before we attack, guys. Oh, yeah, the yeah, pamphlets yeah. happened, remember? Oh, did in their minds. Okay, so your they know. Son. Yeah. They know. Remember? They know. Okay. Go, kill yourself. He made us proud. Okay, that's good. He makes me proud via your your proudness, then. <laughs> uh, it's a pride train. We got a pride train going on. I'm here. halfway adopting your son, by the way, at this point. You keep adopting it, all it, the children keeps, that I like. If it keeps all the good going, children. if he keeps being cool, um, we're going to be parents. Stop stealing the children <laughs> from me. First Connor, now my own actual son. Maybe if you were a better parent, they would need to come to me for guidance. Well, sorry about <laughs> saving the goddamn world all day. Revenge the death of all her children. Specifically, <laughs> 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 stopped the vengeance against the guy. Actually, 
I can I can only imagine an argument a la Avengers as you're free falling in your yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm Tony Stark in it right now. Yeah. What do you do? See you jumping Desert out. Wolf? Jumping out of the ship, aiming for one of the towers. The middle one. Probably, yeah. All right. We're not aiming. <laughs> We're not aiming for the truck. <laughs> Far. Uh. <laughs> that is not what we're doing to these towers. Hey, uh, dumb enough, then. Royal, can I borrow your ship for a quick second? Why would you do Royal, that? can I borrow your tower seven for a second? <laughs> and we just flap your arms and it should guide you. <laughs> we are silly this evening. Oh, what do we do? It's because we're doing combat What's at the beginning. Uh, oh, right, you gotta do that. Now I'm gonna and the Royal like, shooting people down. Okay. So now let's uh, grab the controls of the ship. <laughs> okay. I thought you were throwing me out of the ship. I'm like, why? <laughs> Killer Queen. Has to cocaine first. <laughs> no! Oh my god! Cocaine pushes you back into a bunch of sticky bombs, kicks you up, <laughs> rocks the ships, you fall out of the side door. <laughs> and it would only be the second time that the Killer Queen's kicked you out of a window. <laughs> and, only the, and only the second or third time she's blown cocaine in your face. <laughs> that you were aware of. Too. And kind of pirouette off enemies. Did you guys just point the ship at the main tower? <laughs> yeah, might as well. <laughs> I told you that was happening. Yeah. Oh, it gets blown up like every episode. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of a thing. So. If the ship doesn't it blow does. up, how do we know we did something? <sighs> so yeah, that's what I do. I just jump out and dance across all the enemies. The sky. Yes. You're hopping yeah. off of enemies Mario style as they detonate from the royal shooting them. Propelled by the explosions. All right. Then in that case, the swarms attack. Oh no, not swarms! Bloody hard. Get out. <laughs> All righty. So it is a legion of these motherfuckers, and they're all going to go with. Uh, they knew she was easy too. My God. So yeah, they're all going to do blood like water on all of you, which means they auto hit for all their attacks. <laughs> Okay, I okay. that So yes, a swarm of supernatural <laughs> might creatures attacks all of you three times. Oh. Oh man, I got I can open Peter's dice roller. Wait, 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 I'm in TJ, so. So he's gonna take some damage. What? Wait, 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 You're wait. not in TJ? Yeah, he is. He's yeah. falling he? in TJ. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. It was I thought you specifically missed. said that you, no, you didn't bring it. But it's got the time. volley negation shield. So This yeah, isn't a volley. No, but wait. Th- what do you mean by a volley negation? Uh, wait, it, it, it's for multiple attacks. He oh. has to be fully attacked. Or yeah, or either yeah, have to be fully attacked, or and I can only take one of them, the first one that okay. hits, and then it. But it's for max damage. But if I'm not fully attacked, then I take nothing. They uh, negate. You take. Oh my god, I rolled so low. Oh, no. uh, you take one. Then TJ takes one. <laughs> okay. The rest of you. The rest of you guys take two. <clears throat> One and one. I don't think you have TJ. Four? Okay. Well, Two? in case you have damage reductors. I do, um, I don't know how I much health you have. Do I have any damage reductors though? Alright, that means a small up. You can auto hit now. You don't even have to roll the hit. I take three? Two, one, one. They take one damage for attacking me. Actually, they can take two. Ah! Fuck! Mm-hmm. It's... Hundreds of elementals, demons, uh, automaton, and summoned entities. I will attack the automatons because I do max. I do straight damage against the automatons. Okay, they're part of the mob, so that doesn't quite apply. The makeup is too diverse. Well, the diversity be. is negating the ability. Damn you, PC bullshit! Diversity <laughs> screwed you again, majestic. <laughs> <laughs> I have to pay them. All right. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. This is what we're doing for the last few episodes. We're offloading every joke. <laughs> Might as well. Them. It's the last few episodes. If they've listened to this many times, who cares? <laughs> yeah, it's true. We've got them now. Fools! It's going to throw a next game. <laughs> Alright, so now all you guys get to go against the swarm. For the swarm. For Swarms. the swarm. For all making shouts. What does that do? All of their foes up to a vast mob in number instantly obey anything short of a suicidal order or command not to defend themselves from obvious peril, provided they are not already engaged in combat against the guy bound. Oh, no, shit. Right. shit. Shit. That would have been really amazing if you did that right before we attacked. Can't you? Because then all their swarms would have turned against them. If you're an Infernal, you could unbind uh, a bunch of these demons too as your cast power. 
Don't that you makes still... me sad. Why am I not an infernal? I'm basically one in everything but me. <laughs> <laughs> Evan Dragon wouldn't have given a shit about the infernal. It's like, oh, she's really tragic and shit, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I want the nice people. I'm the nice king. So why do you marry me? I'll break someone. <laughs> oh my god, so the stupidest fucking thing happened the other day. Cool. <sighs> Fucking lord. All right. So I just mentioned casually about the Killer Queen marrying the Evan Dragon, right? Just super fucking cash. No. And someone's like, oh, but what's the Killer Queen's doom? Because the Evan Dragon's attracted to things that will die in a doomed and tragic way. So what's her, you know, how's she going to die in a doomed oh, and tragic way? It's like, no, that's not quite how it works. He's attracted to things that are doomed and to other things because he's a very diverse character that has a huge range of things he cares about. So there's a lot of complex reasons why he'd like the Killer Queen. Mostly because she's awesome. Right? But then he kept going on about her. She has to be doomed. I'm like, okay, well, I gave a very brief five or six sentence rundown of everything with the Killer Queen. You know, being a Yozy worshiper, children, throwing her baby off a tower, using her own motherhood as a way, as a weapon to emotionally hurt you guys and blackmail you into being a family, uh, eventually becoming a ruler of creation, uh, the Blessed Isle, the precariousness of her situation, how basically her entire life has gotten worse and worse while she's gotten more and more powerful and more and more reach spanning, and how her solution to every problem is not to go to you guys for help, but to go to hell or your abyssal allies and then go to hell and just have... You know, hell do it. It's like, why have solars do it? Why have the princes of the universe do it? I'm just going to go to hell and get the old titans of the world to do my bidding. Because I rely on them more than my own circle mates and my own family. Yeah. And my own real living family and look shy. Yeah, what the fuck, Killer Queen? So (laughs) after explaining in graphic detail how the Killer Queen is doomed, right? Like, this... This paints yep. a tableau of a character that's going to live a very short and doomed life, right? There's something, there's an air of tragedy to the Killer Queen if you really think about her. Mm-hmm. Fucking dude, bro. The very dude, next bro. line is, I'm not really interested in her as a character, so how's she doomed? And I'm like, did you not fucking read the, I just, and then literally, it's, it's basically a quote from, you know, a link to the Zoolander thing. But why male models? <laughs> literally what he did. Uh, blew my mind. It was like... I, I don't even know. Fucking Redick. Fuck that guy. I, I don't even know. Like, I I broke it down. I gave a very he good He asked overview. you a question, you gave him the answer, and then he said, I'm not interested, but give me the answer. Yeah, he was like, I heard everything you just said, and I read everything you just said, and as a human being who has an intelligence, are. I was able to, you know, process it. But you didn't say, it. I'm going to just act like you said nothing and ask you for the answer again. <laughs> See, the Evil Dragon likes the details. You don't. Therefore, you'll never understand why he chose the Killer Queen. Yeah. And, and then he was like, you don't have to really defend yourself here. I'm not putting you on trial. I'm not going to come to your table and flip it over. And it's like, buddy, no one's defending this because this is totally solid. It's just, you're just mystifying. <laughs> what a jackass. I just, it blew my mind. Blew my mind. Yeah. So, back to the Killer Queen. Back to the Killer Queen, the subject of this. What the fuck were you doing? Murder? Yeah, they're just uh, straight up attacking for uh, six damage in total. To the mob? To the mob. To the mob. All right, yeah. Demons, elementals, monsters. Oh, yeah, we're talking about you being an infernal. Oh, yeah. (laughs) How the other dragon wouldn't give a shit. It's like, oh, you're tragic? Yeah, that's every infernal. Thanks. Basically. She, she, wasn't even in, she wasn't even tragic when she was in Infernal. She was a genie that granted evil wishes. She just had a <laughs> shitty backstory where she was like, yeah, everything died mm. because of my... Yeah, but it's, it's much harder to be exceptional when you're fucking painted with the same brush as everyone else. Yeah. None of these count as creatures of darkness, right? Nah. No. Yeah. Demons? Do. I mean, the demons do, but again, it's a, it's a menagerie. It's a diverse portfolio of great creatures. Mm. I already maximized my free. I just I rolled. So yeah, just Boop. six damage. Boop! What do you guys do? I um, went to the sun, convinced it to, you know, condemn everybody in the best of the aisle. The sun cannot do that and will not do that. I'm going to use so Red Hand the of the Emperor, and I'm going to hit them for... Oh, fuck, Red Hand of the Emperor, from one of your from one of your god hands! Yep. Also, I, ra- I would rather owe, like, a million different yogis than owe the Kong Conquer son a single fucking favor. <laughs> right? He's, He's kind of a guy. dick. You're not my dad! <laughs> Thou aren't my patriarch! And including my fray, that I hit them for twenty five. What's that other one? Jiminy Christmas. What's that other one? Wizard's Wrath and the other one you use? Wizard's Wrath right. and Shattering Hand. All right, so it. 
I just don't see it there. So Desert Wolf, like a monster out of hell, with his with his monster hands, his five fold hands, just blitzes through this swarm and starts cutting through them. Yep. He cut it. It had sixty hit points. It's at twenty seven now. As I say, they took two just for attacking me. Okay. It's brutal, in a beautiful way. All right, who's next? I can do this twenty two <laughs> damage to them. Uh, what? Just fire and yeah. rain and hellfire. Yeah. All right, it's down to five hit points. Yeah. Oh ooh, my, ooh, uh, pick me, pick me. What do you do? Uh, I'll just turn the god's teeth? <laughs> no, that's kind of <laughs> unnecessary. I'll just turn on Shattering Hand and Wizard's Wrath, which maximizes my dice, and I get three attacks in TJ as well, I think. Okay. Go for it. I Count it. <laughs> do it. Do you do at least five damage? Yeah, probably. I'm pretty sure it's a D10. Uh, uh, maxing your damage with... Including Frey, you're going to do six damage for you. All right, so no, in but, a single but turn, turn, those ten straight. Yeah, three times. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it goes to the chart. In a single turn, you lay low this vast army of summoned entities Bonk. and Bonk. land on the tower top. Man, I bet you that was all in air. <laughs> oh man, I bet you they're shit. That was themselves. amazing. We showed up. Their, their wall fell, their wind wall fell down, a giant demon fell into them, all the people were, were thrown off the roofs and died, and then all their swarms, as we're jumping through the air, all died. And, and then we land. And you should like, use your, you know, mob slaying uh, weapons on the, uh, the benediction, because those would come. They were already there. Yeah, we didn't even, yeah. Like, yeah we didn't need to. I didn't, even, no. I didn't even get a turn yet. <laughs> yeah. So you guys land on the top of the Heptagram's main <laughs> tower as the majestic sky ship, that giant pyramid, uh, is flying down at an angle just below the tower and crashes into it and blows open a giant gaping wound in it and just starts deadening and ripping down that side of the wall. I don't believe you. <laughs> I think it's it's just the fuel it, can, it can't melt. <laughs> the beams. Do you think the explosion? The essence <laughs> engine couldn't melt the jade support pillars inside of it. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Lizard men caused this. Cast the lizard men engineers inside the Majestic Benediction. The Dragon <laughs> Kings. Like, well, I mean, you're not wrong. Okay, so the ship crashes oh, into this crooked one. Crooked killer queen. <laughs> okay, I understand oh, why this one's falling, but why is that one falling? <laughs> <laughs> a smaller coffee shop also falls over. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like from the Jesus Wanderer's Christ. logic, too. It's uh, like... Ship into building makes building fall. Okay, why that building? The buildings fall? are falling. Like the, you're on the top of the epigram, and like this whole side of it is <laughs> yeah, just yeah, ripped I open. I know. Debris and smoke and twisted burning magic materials and incense and wood and paper because this thing's made of normal materials too. It's just eking out that as was, the engine over. That was a bad idea. Yeah. Fuck you, libraries. <laughs> <laughs> we'll write our own history. <laughs> You know, Blackjack and hookers. Uh, we're gonna conveniently leave out the part of the plague and setting the ocean on fire. Fuck no, we're not. So there was no one left. We are to... adding that in every iteration. So of they this. don't. So forget. the census here says that your coronation party on Bless Isle, no one showed up. No, no, no. Just say that a fifty billion people showed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Trump. More realistically, uh, though. <laughs> more realistically, though, it's saying that no one showed up. No, 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 no. It's not that no one showed up. It's that. Everyone was already dead. <laughs> so everyone showed up. Right? Everyone. Everyone who mattered. Just ourselves. Exactly. All right, let's find the big bad guy here. I want him. I want him now. All right, you're on top. You're the big bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Guess there's a hatch or something. Get inside. I, I, it's a giant roof. The roof is the size of a football field. I punch also, a hole in the roof. Like a hatch. The entire wall is gone. We just walk in the side. I punch a hole in the There's roof. Like cracks in the roof and shit. Just find a soaking hat. Punch a hole yeah. in the roof. I thought she said hat too. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make a hat. hat. <laughs> I was like, I mean, free hat, here free you go, hat. But <laughs> Queen kind of dances around, clacking her high heels until she finds a decently soft or part of the roof, home. and then she just kicks through into the next floor. Boot. <laughs> it's super weird that she wears heels. I wanted to make shoes. <laughs> I guess, but it's just it just seems really weird. She wears like really like frumpy clothes otherwise. And then she, she just like poncho. lifts up her like skirts and there's like <laughs> these like picture like the most glamorous heels possible and like, just, like a very dangerous mirror Harry. <laughs> <laughs> she probably got like a uh, hundred pairs of shoes. So when you were saying you were looking for a hat, I'm like a port key. That's what we need. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you guys. <laughs> this episode is off the cuff. <laughs> well, you know, we've been holding it in for like two weeks. Yeah, yeah. I've been having withdrawals, so I'm not going to lie. 
We've done like 116 9-11 references. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Fucking Actually. balloons fall. 116. Dead clown. Oh, I thought we did Oh, I get it. I get it. I oh, get it. Yeah. Finger guns. <laughs> Uh, Rotate him 116. Alright, so you guys <laughs> kick him through the roof. Wait, I imagine Kogri had like kabuki makeup on, which is like, Whoa! <laughs> Everybody looks like a little apprentice just like shitting themselves, be like, ah, and then fainting. <laughs> Let's do the <laughs> like one of those ghosts. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> fainting ghosts. <laughs> 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 That'll be the so best great. thing to breed to people. <laughs> they just kind of fall over when they're spooked. Yes. Oh my god. Can we do that? I'm picturing like little sheep people. Oh my god. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Emma, <laughs> just a good bold one day. So, <laughs> there are dragon blooded in this part of the building. They're all very distinct and colorful and have a rich tapestry to their character backgrounds that you never interacted with. So we just cut there's the also door on them? demons here. Like, there's a few second circle demons that are a bit unbound. And some of them are bound because there are sidereals here summoning. Hmm. Oh, no. Fuck you, sidereals. And uh, they're going to attack you guys. There's also more demons here, or elementals. They're going to just come on in. Wait, some of them are unbound? Yeah. And if you turn on them and join us, I can turn on them. great rewards. Great rewards. Also, I'm like married to one of your kings? I mean... Yeah, Jesus. Look at the ring. Look at the ring. You keep getting the wrong no. ring. He doesn't even know what ring it's supposed to be on. The marriage ring is supposed to be on. I don't even remember what ring this magic ring made from the Unconquered Sun is. I don't remember what finger it's on. I barely pay attention. It's giving off a solar pulse. <laughs> All your clothes on that armor are bleached white. white. Everyone has the rings on the proper finger. And she's just like, see the ring? See the ring? You're not wearing a ring on that finger. Oh. I'm sorry, did you look hard enough? <laughs> I guess I don't care. I guess I'm not sorry. I, I can look into the glowing sun in my hand. Do you see anything? Alright, so... A taking the living tower jumps out of the open hole in the side of the building, lands on his demon wasp, and flies away. Oh, cool. He actually promised to kick hey, ass next that, time he saw us. That's yeah. not... Uh, what we're... That was in the before time? Before he realized how overmatched he was. Oh, wow. That actually worked. Wait. <laughs> By turn on them, we didn't bees. mean run away. See, you were right. Run, I was away. right. There were bees. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I told you, man. Listen Off to Off into the horizon. Him and uh, <clears throat> Damascus. Why did they Same stay? Queen why, why did they run instead of fight? That's the opposite of what because we wanted. Because now he doesn't have to get Because. Involved. Shut up. <laughs> exactly. Because he's a bitch. <laughs> Don't say that. All right, so. You a bitch. He stops in the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Starts, starts flying back as he does. A sun appears. A green sun appears under him and a mech forms around him. <laughs> oh, and then the devil takes his axe. Yeah, and then the devil. <laughs> oh, All fuck. Right. I'm gonna be busy, guys. Maybe a power maximum. I'll go to I'll go Octavian talk. Overlord. <laughs> Octavian the Living Devastator. Octavian Overlord, like Lazengan from Gurren Logan. Anyway, you guys get to go before the eight or so trained dragon blooded sorcerer engineers and uh, I don't know why I said sorcerer engineer Shugenja uh, get ready to kung fu fight you. Is there mobs here too, or is it just... Yeah, there's mobs here. There's two mobs. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm going to summon... There's two mobs of mortal sorcerers with flame wands. Don't make yourselves immune to fire. That'd be a dick move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish it was. Yeah. Are they immune to fire? No, but they have flame wands. Can you make them all explode with your craft? <laughs> oh, God. Um, I'm going to summon Moro, De Devourer of Dreams, my wolf. Oh, fuck. On the morrow. Yep. Uh, a um, giant wolf shows up. And it does get an action this turn, actually. The turn it summoned. Sure. But I'll let everybody else do this. Yeah, it's an NPC. It doesn't yeah, I go kill the wolf. No. <laughs> I used my turn to snap the wolf. I don't know if you could kill it in one hit, actually. You should have had the wolf uh, be a cyborg so it could fuse with you and become a sixth arm. <sighs> a wolf arm? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just picked like, like, it out of my chest. Like just, yeah, like Nero Chaos. <laughs> 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 oh, 
The secretest of the arms. You thought yeah. that the fifth arm, the eclipse arm, was a secret? No, no. There's the sixth arm. The wolf arm. <laughs> Is this Mel okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's literally It, like, really fires good. wolf heads out of it. <laughs> Oh, it's it's so like a fighting game. It's so memes. The queen's gonna pull out the skull of uh, the empress's <laughs> former uh, companion, which is now just fully decked out <laughs> as a cop. Yeah. Sits that, puts her other hand behind her back, and then lifts her leg right just on the throat. <laughs> just the toe kicks them in the Adam's apple. It's like, go for it. it. These guys all collectively have AC zero. They don't even have their own indistinct stat block. <laughs> you know, you really think these guys are like. Stop trying to kill us. Like, they know who we are, right? Not everyone's just going to give up on sight. This is a battle for their lives and for the Empire. But they'll live if they run away. Well, I mean, the Empress could kill they'll them. They'll live. No, no. They'll be alive if they run away. But they won't ever live. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they can come back and apologize. Yes. All right. Six damage. I accept apologies. Just, Six damage? Yeah. Just right in the Adam's out. Oh, Christ. He will parry. Because he has the word of sword down, because they're dragon blooded. <coughs> oh, no. Yes, oh, no, actually. There's quite a few of them here. Yeah. There's eight of them. Eight exalts, and that's terrible. So, uh, we really shouldn't let these guys activate their animal banners. That would really suck for all of us. <coughs> yeah. yeah, you'd all take eight st- straight damage every turn. Elemental yeah. score, no five for elemental. Oh, did they lose effort because we're animal blank? Oh, fucking lord! They have to commit effort because you guys are solars yeah, and you we have are the uh, the cold oh. breath. I haven't. Yeah. Oh no, I used two efforts. No, so. I've used enough that I'm animal flare. So, gang, uh, you're fighting those dragon blooded, and they have to commit effort to your guys' individual cold breaths. Uh, committing that effort means it's going to ignite their animal banners, though. Hmm. So they all have three effort, except for that one. <coughs> oh yeah, because he parried. He was like, "Oh God, no!" I don't want to be punched there. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. he parries you with his wood dragon claws. His hands are made of wood dragon claws. Shing! No splinters. Oh God, splinters! <sighs> what do you guys do? I fire at the mobs of elemental of my gun and hit them for twenty-two damage. Jesus oh, Christ. and two damage to everybody else. Uh, twenty-two damage to a elite warriors. Oh man, they're at like ten hit points. Oh no. Also, I did two damage to everyone because that was uh, the fray thing. The fray thing, which also affects people because I have a draft. Yeah, because you'd be crazy not to take wizard draft, <laughs> right? You so good. All right, so everyone's at eighteen. Okay, who else has that fray to everybody? Yep. Yeah, I've also got. Well, it. we just keep track of it on everyone's we'll, turn. We'll, so, we'll, we'll okay. Killer Queen, then you fucking destroyed a bunch of fire and earth elementals. Okay, should have worked for us. We I? were summoned. <laughs> we legally employed you. You were summoned by the wrong person, jerk. We were made from the ether of the elements around the Blessed Isle. <sighs> Stop blaming us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what does Desert Wolf do? <coughs> Desert Wolf. Um, With well, I summoned the wolf. But right? that, that's your whole turn? I believe that's... I think I can still fray, though. Better question. What is so, the yeah, sea wolf? Two doing? damage to everybody else. Oh, oh Christ. Christ. He's doing the other word. Yeah, other and then the little child. child. You guys, like, this is great. <laughs> I love my life. So I will, I will use my turn for when... <laughs> Alright, what does the wolf do? The, the wolf. mob of elementals has four hit dice left. Eat them. Oh. Eat them all. You're okay. better. Yeah, they're they're dead. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Think okay, I'm dead. dead. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. Elementals <laughs> That's gone. Wolf. The sea wolf, the desert wolf, or a wolf wolf. Love moon, wolf. moon, 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 moon. moon, moon. moon, moon. <laughs> uh. All right, majestic. <coughs> I'm going to use flame as water, which attacks everyone in a fifty yard cone. It does straight damage to creatures of vegetation and wood. And I think it just does like my normal damage, Ooh. right? Take one of your powers that create a area of fire, and then all the fire aspect will be immune to it, therefore it will double it for every one of them. And then the whole heptagram will catch on the fire. We, we don't <laughs> want that. We I want mean, the heptagram. 
It's going to be very bloody. If you liked honest. the heptagram, why did you crash a plane into it? We can rebuild it. I mean, it. America. It needs the extension. No, stop. <laughs> Dude, we like parts of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <coughs> Was well, that hole in the wall where the bust of you is going to go? Yeah. <laughs> need to make room for the it's, statue. It's, it's too big for the room, so it has to poke out for the roof. They're going to have everyone off. Yeah, there's seven, so there can be a statue on each of them, of us. And so you two do... other killer queens. <laughs> Just flipping. I say, like, with, you know, like, flipping off everyone on each side. And then they quit this. There. It's yeah, put TJ and Nick with us. I like, just picture like, the killer decide. queen's head on one, and then the two right beside it is just her hands flipping everybody. <laughs> <around. laughs> and then us, our three heads on the other, like back ones. Killer queen. <laughs> Why does mine look like it's on a pike? I don't know, Desert Wolf. Why does it? <laughs> so called um. Desert Wolf. <laughs> now you're starting to doubt it. You went to this there. magic land and got one from another dimension. I was you... there to witness what happened, though. Oh, oh my video. god. Ah, oh, true. The video's yeah, gonna be shot. Shot. <laughs> It's like straight... I think any of these guys got... <clears throat> it's straight from my armor. Well, I mean, I'm a knight cast. I can do anything. No, that's not a thing. That, that is not a phrase anyone's going to attribute to except for a knight cast. <laughs> except so. love. Those clips. I'm just gonna do the whole thing I said. Flame on water. Flame is water. All right. What happens? Um. So. One second. I, I think I have, yeah. I think I have plus thirteen today. Also, I forgot to open the. <coughs> We're back. So yeah, <coughs> flame wand. You fry everyone for two damage, and then your your fray die does two more. So all these dragon blade had about twenty hit die. They're down to fourteen <laughs> just from <laughs> increment from just from incidental injury. Okay. And now. The showstopper, <laughs> the wanderer. Okay, what do you do? Yeah, why do you guys need to go before him? I'm a, fu- I'm a fine. What's even fucking point? I, I just want to finish. Yeah, I, I'm the kill steal. You guys do the work. I get the glory. Duh, dawn. Anyways, I'm gonna find the scariest looking guy in the room. <laughs> They're all identical in every way. Every way. Yeah. One of them has wood dragon claws. They all have wood dragon claws. The other ones are wearing oven mitts. <laughs> <laughs> They have wood dragon claws and tiger claws and short swords and a flame wand tied to these hands that are hot. <laughs> so you're, hot. You're really oh, out. I'm sorry. You're really out of ideas. Just guns taped to hands at this point. It's been a year and a half. Okay, I'll just pick one of them at pure random and just hit them three times for max damage. All right, how much damage is that all together? Uh, what, four plus Frey? Three so times? So, or, so at least twelve. Plus the four, Frey. yeah, the four is three times, and then Frey. So oh four, my god, four. so that guy will uh, will spend an effort to parry that. All three parry. attacks? Parry. Yeah, parry. plus parry. first scene. Thrust. Yeah. Oh, he used, like, Nine sword. Or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you're like they were having a frat party. Good beer hands, take to his hands. Like, I'm oh, drunk, man. man. We don't have enough time to get this off, so we're just gonna take out your beer cans, <laughs> put in the flame wall. Oh, <laughs> so All right, so that one guy's down to one effort. <coughs> oh, you he, uh, he parries heroically with the blood of the dragons. Thank you. I'd like to see you do that a second time. He can. He has one more effort. <laughs> I no, can. I have one more effort. <laughs> Shut up, Janet. Everyone knows it. <laughs> the Magister will remember that. We should have done an AOE smite on all those five guys. There's eight guys. AOE smite. I'm not using my real effort. <laughs> okay. The eight guys get to go. They have all ignited their anima bonfire. Oh, no. Which means you guys are all going to take eight damage. Straight. Can you know so? And the mental score. Uh, do you have any words or gifts that allow you to ignore the torrential energy of the blood of the dragons? Define torrential energy of blood of the dragons. <laughs> Let me pause. No. Alright, so doing. body of iron will prevents you from environmental effects. So, yeah, the environmental hazard that is the dragon blood, because there are, is an environmental hazard. You're okay, you're good. Good, okay. You just lucked out. You guys have fun with that, I'm off the hook. How much damage are they doing each? One each. Oh, I take one fewer point of damage from all incoming sources of damage, whether physical or magical, so I'm fine. Ah! Okay. Oh shit, I guess I could have activated that too. Yeah, <laughs> fear no steal. Yeah, I mean, I it's have... really good for um, 
it's really bad against egg zones, but it's really good against things that just don't have a lot of gifts. Yeah, I also have that move. It's a good move. I just took it. He just took it. What about your Wolfie? Oh, yeah, dead. Wolfie can take it. It's, it's dead. dead. It's dead. Uh, I don't care. Wolfie. Yeah, Wolf can take it. Just Eight sad. points. I have five elemental scorns. You have all five elemental scorns? Yes. And you scorn against all five elements? Yes. <laughs> That's why he was cranky that he got it. Because he spent uh, all his fucking points uh, on getting all of them. And he had it right away. Uh, I couldn't have His done. is much different, though. His is much more powerful. Yeah. yeah. This is just an incidental thing that the Exile gets. Yeah. Nicole. I take a bunch of damage. Like, <laughs> double the damage I was able to do with them. Aww. <laughs> well, you take eight damage. Become like, a f- exterminate all dragon blood eventually. Become a fighter again. <laughs> now it's a real exalted campaign. Thanks. I'm gonna genocide them because they're not real exalts. <laughs> if you're only eight people. But, but you can't genocide so them because they just eight? keep popping up. Yeah. Well, yeah, then you kill them before they go to Pudu. Well, kill them. I don't know. They're pretty good at stopping winners <coughs> from popping up. So, so what, are you just going to go to the wild, create a perfect human being with no hints of dragon blood inside them, and they're like, everyone's going to breed with these now. I'm going to breed <laughs> them out. Just breed them out? You know, just... And the guy that uh, Wait, hates that dragon possible? blood because he's in charge of dragon blood, it's like, I told you this would happen. Yeah. All right. So, the eight Shugenja. You made Attack that. you with their- Shugenja's a real word. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> you made that. They attack you with their two attacks around. What uh, What are all your ACs? Zero. Zero. One. <clears throat> Negative one. Zero. But do they focus both attacks? <laughs> I mean, they'll have to. Focus <laughs> Who did the most damage? To them? To them? Which was not Peter. Peter killed <laughs> off some of the mortals. <laughs> I don't um, think I think all of us just did break we, we, Yeah, we all did like up. A little bit. <laughs> Oh yeah, did like I didn't know to have she parry except for her break. Alright, once you get just gonna attack you with all of its attacks, what do you do? Um, that guy looks like a Dawn, he's probably the fighter, right? He's in a giant Dawn map full <laughs> yeah. of Dawn weapons. There's like guns and swords coming out of its armor. And this megaphone shouting Dawn Dawn <laughs> Dawn da Dawn 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 da Dawn TV screens on his teletubby stomach flashing Dawn cat symbols. <laughs> I just picture them having a seizure, just like, that's how you fight, you get seizures. Yeah, I play that one episode of Pokemon, and then I win. Electric Soldier Porygon. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. So what do you do? One's coming um, at you. Um, uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> stupid face. Uh, well, roll to see me hits. And then first one hits What's your AC? Zero, zero, one, eight, nine, seven, oh, six, wow. three, oh, nine. <laughs> that one's gonna be stuck in my head all night. Because if none hit, none hit. Yeah, if none hit, none hit. <laughs> Truer words, poet. Wow. Wow. <laughs> now who's the wise one? All right, hit. Okay, then it hits hit. for max damage. The first one hits for max damage, and that's it. You take max damage from what? Yeah. All right, you take one. max Landis damage and take ten straight damage. Oh, did you straight damage? Straight damage yeah. goes max Landis damage. <laughs> It's pretty. Sh- I the NPCs they just yeah. take damage. You know what? Oh, I'm not no. sure. <laughs> He's a mystery. Uh yeah, straight damage. Terrible Can mystery. I just no sell that then? Uh, with what? What do you know? What's selling with? What do you do with your hands? Oh shit! I didn't think you were actually gonna hit, and I'll just use uh, whatever brawl. <laughs> Time out, fighting, time you know, out. fighting stuff. All right, keep track of his fighting essence going stuff. down, because the next one's gonna. Wait, are you doing for the entire turn? Yeah. Shit. All right, the other one's like shit. Oh yeah, I guess nine iron walls. That would have been a better move. All right, the next one's gonna attack you twice. Nine iron walls. All right. <laughs> Number three is gonna attack you twice, Kevin. Bring it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> They're like all of their defensive powers. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> We've kind of uh, been through this once or twice, guys. They hit both times. Okay, for how much? Uh... Well, then I have negative AC. I have negative AC. Twelve. Me, 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 me. Twelve. It's in total? Really cool. Ten and two. Ten and two. Okay, so ten damage. Okay, I'm taking it. All right, number four is going to attack you. Okay. Oh, the one who attacked me takes one point of damage for attacking me. I will note that. 
Uh, hit both I have times. I question. Hit both times. Okay, I'm going to activate Lick Your Wounds to heal and make myself immune to physical damage for the rest of the turn. All right, and that was number four, I think, that attacked you then. <coughs> so on number four, I will pause. All right. Shugenja number five attacks the royal. <laughs> You're the only nine one not to fall. Shugenja number six. You have nine iron <laughs> Of course he does. Oh, my cloak. <laughs> his cloak. <laughs> He's hiding in his safe space. <laughs> Shugenja number six attacks the majestic. Try. Yes? Okay. Uh, nine you golden walls. <laughs> okay, one hits. Do they really? Yeah. 24. Jesus. What Damage? the fuck? No, to hit. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was like... Jesus Christ, Devin, Burn. you're fucking cheating. <laughs> 27 damage. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. S- stop throwing shit at me in the mic. Cut it out. It's enough, Nicole. Is it seven? Yeah. They maybe so- Seven and eight are going to attack you? to explode. I have no defensive powers. Okay. Okay, and seven and eight are definitely going to attack you. Can I make... Like, attack the... Attack! Oh, they're, they're all immune to damage at all times. <laughs> oh, the dress. <laughs> you know, it's not the end of the world if you die, because... You don't yeah. die because. But he has so much effort that we might need for no, dispelling. No, 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 no. With my um, I have that gift where bows or allies reduced to zero. Don't die. Don't die. They stay around for as many actions as they have levels. So the majestic stays around for ten more turns. Oh, or she can just go down and not uh, die. <laughs> and just wake up in his lab and be like, <sighs> Killer Queen. <laughs> I need another faster ship. Open the portal. <laughs> yeah, there's the two options. There's. When either... I go back home, because don't I go back to like wherever you want, your where your doppelganger is. Okay. This was always a doppelganger. Just okay. wanted to make sure that it wasn't to the nearest source of power, because I'm like. No, no, no. no that's <laughs> if you really die. Uh, 21, 25, 25, and thirty to hit. Jeez. I have no idea if that hits. How do you not yes, have like nine iron wolves or something? I'm not supposed to be in combat. <laughs> uh, Royal learned. 22 damage. He I built an artifact. I he, die. He built... Alright, the, 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 the last three Shigenja <laughs> pile on the Majestic. They start stabbing and kicking and punching <laughs> and punching and punching and smashing his head against a wall and like opening up his guts <laughs> and putting out his guts and ribbons and glass <laughs> and cogs and... <laughs> And fucking handkerchiefs, okay. and they always just kill a giant stuffed version of the majestic, full of chocolate and gears and like stuffing. Oh, should, they're pissed. Did not die and stick around for ten more rounds. Sure, so. what else? <laughs> Whatever. So still. They're, they're gonna do that, and then like as soon as they turn away, the majestic's probably just gonna stand up. All right, so it's so still a robot. It's a, no, really it's not a robot. It's only hard. a robot if the majestic dies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you just get the shit kicked out of you. <laughs> Ow! Ow. <laughs> Please stop. Wow. Slowly this winds one. down. <laughs> All right, so the three shoe genja break off when the other five can't possibly hurt you and put the boot to the majestic. <laughs> Medium <laughs> pace. <laughs> oh, you guys are fucking squad. dumb. <laughs> um, they can't hurt you because you have magic. Love goes to themselves. Rah, this is the part where you run away. <laughs> this is the part where you bend the knee. Yeah. <laughs> the mortal sorcerers wet themselves and run away. Yeah, they break. Can I do the voice? <laughs> ah! They uh, they leave. So Good they're dragon blooded here. Ah. Yeah, just just the eight dragon blooded. Queen reaches for Wait, her sorry, was it oh. mortals or dragon blooded that kicked the shit up me? Dragon blooded. Okay, good. <laughs> I would have been really fucking pissed if it was a bunch of losers. I wouldn't have let mortals. <laughs> like 25 up. other guys just started It's like, we got your circle, mate! We got your circle, mate! You're part of the gang in Hell Majestic. We just jumped you in. <laughs> you're like, you have, you have tattoos, you're wearing a wife beater, and you have, like, I don't know, like a, a gang, gang size gang colors on. Gang-sized gang. You're the pre-gang <laughs> member. That's never a good sign. 
That's never a good You get jumped again. in. Now you're part of. We're the Shugenjas. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was made up. He put oh. his dues in. It's like, alright guys, I mean, I'm sorry, but they jumped me in. <laughs> the, the, those, <laughs> those are the bravest mortal souls I have ever encountered. <laughs> yeah, the mortals run. <laughs> okay. Where are you going? So, uh, it's your guys' turn again. Queen takes a look at all the all the remaining dragon blooded, reaches for a purse, pulls out a line, sniffs it. So, uh, there's gonna be some vacancies in the great houses pretty soon, uh... Which one of you would like their own great house? They all unanimously, in the same voice acting <laughs> vo- voice, just like fall, any Fallout game, state that they fight to the death. Oh my god. Oh honey, that's really They've adorable. got bandit voice. <laughs> okay, uh, where was I? Throat. <coughs> and I'm gonna aim right for that guy's throat again. Go for it. I mean, we could tie one up, but I could use that one charm on them over and over and over again until they're eventually an There's ally. more dragon blood coming. <laughs> ah, there's always more. <coughs> so I do four damage to him and two damage to everyone else in the room. That's fair. He'll take it. Not us, though, right? I mean... No, that's just Frey. <laughs> Walter Frey. I mean, you're dead. You can't get any deader. It's, it's a solid this state. Fails. All right, he takes a bunch of Walter Frey to the face. Solid snake. There are a lot of Walter Freys. To be fair. Nah. Uh, five hands, magic mans. I'm going to look at them and I'm just going to be like, you really should have listened to the Killer Queen. That's about the nicest she's ever been. And ever. then I'm going to use Red Hand of the Emperor to hit all of them for six. Six Super. damage each. Yeah. They will all parry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one guy is just effort cat now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one! That one guy! Know. That one guy doesn't spend effort. He just takes it. Oh, I was gonna say, I was gonna scream dibs at the top of my lungs. <laughs> he, he's at four hit points. He's not doing huff so hot. All right, like a blur, you go through the Shugenja. Royal. Mm, I guess I'm gonna do some AOE bureaucracy smite on all of them. Money. <laughs> Let's pay. Taxes and they're like, oh. <laughs> what does the bureaucracy against? smite look like? No, what page for the other mind? No, like no, 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 the smite can't be you physically doing damage to them with bureaucracy, or else it's just a physical attack. Okay, it has to be something supernatural. So I guess you take <laughs> the might of the celestial bureaucracy down on them. <laughs> they all get I guess you. Summons. I guess you do morale damage that becomes by crazy. bringing to light. <laughs> The great amount of destitution their houses are being brought to by the Solars, supernaturally. Creation you, you do, Monday. <laughs> you, you do psychological <laughs> supernatural damage to them. So, oh. the, so the world just kind of sits down, puts on like a like fucking pair of glasses, and he's like... An HR block <laughs> booth ascends around him. <laughs> he's like, I'm writing a letter. Hmm? You're saying... No, I'm done. Oh. What's up? Oh yeah, an h and block tax booth like ascends around him like a maze. 14 damage. 14? 14 to each. Okay, none of them have the ability to parry a bureaucracy smite. <laughs> uh, so they all die! <laughs> what? <laughs> what a buzzkill. Well, that was tragic. <laughs> That's unfortunate. They 14? How'd you get that high? 10 d 8. And you just, you just got 14? Yep. That's crazy. Had his well, one straight, even the wall straight. <laughs> they like of life. They gonna waste over. All right, over and so I guess there. all these terrestrials uh, either die or fall prone, like like get swooned. They're just of broken, lonely hearts. <laughs> They're just crying <laughs> on the floor. Broken. This lungs. room is full of tears <laughs> and it's, blood. It's financial ruin, which is just the same as death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is capitalist economy. I bankrupted them. <laughs> And show all them. their GP goes to zero and their gear looks crappy in second hand. <laughs> You're like, they're like, oh, that didn't do anything. You like open your banking app. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> My Roth! <sighs> the gold My I buried. My college tuition. <laughs> that I use for me. And that's why it takes oh, a for a win. Win. Like college. You just showed them their student loans. This <laughs> is the college. <laughs> <laughs> it's on fire. <laughs> the college is on fire. You'll be we crashed and shipped. Your education will be worthless in the next economy. You're fucking drinking about it, and you'll still not be finished paying this off by the time you're five hundred. <laughs> and we're back. 
So all those dragon blooded fall over defeated. Morally. Yay. Uh, what, what do you do to the Majestic? Do you heal him? Fix him? I... Wait, wait, first. Why don't we just like chocolate? Why don't we just like keep going until I really die? We or have ten rounds. Yeah, whatever. Uh, that's not no. how that it works though. It's you, if you heal them, they can either just go down and not die, or they can get up and keep fighting for only ten rounds. So yeah. it could just be like I'm laying on the ground, I'm severely injured, but I will be okay if you. Can not someone just use healing magic and fix him? Yeah, probably. And does anyone have doctorate as a cast skill? Um, I I can doctor. Eat boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know eugenics. Maybe I have. Maybe in preparation of this fight, you stock up the benediction with tons of backups. Oh, I have drugs. Like, can I just plunge a drink? Yeah, can can't you just say that you're in a cry? Can you just all right, die? All right. Presumably, you have those I fucking uh, fruit. Fruit Yeah, that yeah. fruit that grows from that tree that are celestial celestial wine. No, not <laughs> celestial wine. That's not always the solution. I mean, have all drinking is always the solution. Oh, Fine, you guys can give the majestic celestial wine, which supposedly you have. You have to spend an effort for the day to attune to its healing I magic actually and go back do, to full. I actually do can still I have just, like, one third myself? of a. Heal yourself with what? Sensibeans. Being really doctor. Yeah, you still have to commit effort to heal yourself. Sensibeans. Exalted healing requires effort. Can't I just kill myself and come back? With like a not yeah. effort tapped person. You have to wait for effort you, is Anyway, yours. let's move. Up, let's is... move ahead. You're not even effort tapped. The majestic was just secretly in cryo in the ship. <laughs> just lose an effort for the day. You're back at full celestial wine. You fucking alcoholic. Well, the celestial wine give back effort. <laughs> no, it doesn't give back effort. Effort wine. Holy does. shit! It doesn't even give back essence in normal exalted. No, I probably did. No. No, else every one of those fucking second edition power gamer builds would, you know, beyond including stunting level three every single turn, would also include giant vats on their back with pieces of our cosmic <laughs> filtering through their blood like Bane. Okay, can Hello, we make this? <laughs> uh, I'm okay with making this. Why do you wear the mask, Solar uh, Dawncast? Would it hurt if I took it off? Would it, would it be painful if I took it off? For you, <laughs> but also me. I need this. It's like, do, does it keep you alive? No, I need it. <laughs> like an addict does. <laughs> you take it away from me. I will never forgive you. I'll get mad. And you won't. Like your wine. That's the stuff like Daddy drinks, and then he gets mad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. So we're fine. Let's just shovel all these people into a closet, just off the edge of the building. Yes. <laughs> All right, you guys pick up those eight dragon-blooded Shugenja of essence three to four-ish or whatever and throw off the tallest tower of this on-fire building with a plane crashed into it. Not even worth being my cop. <laughs> Man, those guys did not have the same spunk that those wild hunt guys had back in the day. They're nerds. They're here, for, they're here <laughs> to study. Shit has they changed. They philosophy and shit. Things have changed. All right, so you guys are at the top... First floor that you just murdered your way through. Where do you go now? Punch our way through to the next floor. <laughs> what? Just <laughs> why don't we just collapse the tower and go straight to the? Yeah, why don't we just cut out the middleman and see who survives the rubble of every single floor collapsing and just a, a two? We can rebuild floors. Does any of us have my, like mind reading shit or something? We can take one of those dragon blood in and pull the information of the building. Could that, could that be a crafting thing? Understand? I mean, we do have the layout of the building plus. I have a whole. Oh my god, remember that? Remember that argument about the layout of the building? It's like, I have blueprints printed on vellum. (laughs) Oh, we do have the blueprints, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, The blueprints don't tell you where the load bearing boss is. (laughs) Sun signs. Uh, They they were a vault or. Yeah, what are we here for? I glossed over that. (laughs) And here's a conduit so that we can, like, situate our men here. Okay, so where's the biggest, baddest guy? Usually everyone else... Are you going to collapse this building? Is that what this is turning down to? We should keep this place. We should totally keep this place because it is an advantageous structure. It's a good strong building. Plus, we're here to wipe out any threats because this is where the magical threats are coming from. People can summon up demons repeatedly. and Yeah. I mean, they're not going to do any demon summoning in this fight. It takes a day for little guys and a month for big guys. Exactly. So if we can knock them out now, we can prevent, you know, further resistance. I suppose. So do this fight. 
Not really, but... People uh, keep saying genocide, and I don't think they understand what that means. <laughs> it means the killing of... Just, not it's all just murder mass is murder. genocide. People aren't even dead, they're just kind of unconscious. No, those guys are dead. Yeah, no, we... Yeah. <laughs> Plus, fuck <laughs> those guys, we're killing them. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> all right, uh, you guys pat your way through the remaining forces in the heptagram, then. Because those were, like, the best and brightest students in the area. Um, there is a force gathered outside of probably like a hundred mortals, another couple hundred uh, elementals, and uh, some dragon blooded. This place have magical cannons? No. It should have magical cannons. This isn't the Megazord from Power Rangers Pirates. Is there That's a place a where thing? Would, is there like a control <laughs> area for like defenses and shit? This place has got to have defenses or something. No, it, it doesn't really? have like giant laser cannons. It's just a campus. You have the Mio wizards summoning the defenses can themselves. I, okay, can I use like a celestial level sorcery to uh, create a, a barrier around this place? Yeah, like the barrier they have. To keep all these little shits out? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll take that. You can't really do it on the fly because uh, it takes like time to do a celestial working. Oh, okay. Can I just okay. gather everybody you're up with or my energy well thing and put them 100 no. feet in the air? You would think that they're going to get saves because the dragon blooded are like actual people and the mortals you'll probably do some damage to. We will take the benediction and rain oh, fire on just, them. There's just a lot of them, is the thing. Can I open a... Uh... Oh, well. Yeah, to the underworld here. Let stuff pour in. You want to open up a Shadowland? Yeah. Fuck it. Pierce the Veil of Night. Just throw the axe in the ground. Yeah, you can open up a Knight's Road and go right into the Underworld. And just have our ghost enforcement start pouring in from here. I mean... Where would you open it on the other side to? Where are most of our men pouring in from there? So you have people on the other side. Uh, Probably around the mouth of the Void, because you have all those specters that uh, Fuckface was using. Yeah. First Forsaken Lion. Good old Fuckface. Yeah, I'll start borrowing those. Oops, yeah. So yeah, I'll use uh, Pierce the Bell of the Night. Alright, a uh, gateway to the underworld opens up and specters, after a couple minutes, start noticing and start pouring on in. They're like, hey, this is... Because the Geomancy you. of the Blessed Isle is kind of fucked right now. Hmm. Because of all the death. Uh, people start scattering. Forces start engaging. Those specters are going down pretty fast. That's fine. They're just... But you are now successfully dividing them. They're expendable. Should I uh, go help mop those up, or...? I mean, if you want. Well, I don't want to leave, and then the big bad guy shows up and you kill him without me. <laughs> Yoko, okay. oh, do you want to be killing all the small guys? Do you want to have the big guys? I mean, the more people we wipe out, the more likely the, you know... The bigger, th the bigger threats are going to start pouring in to defend them, I think. Unless they're just hiding somewhere. Unless it's a diversion. There's one in every tower. We have to go to every castle. Oh, Christ, no. But the dragon blooded out front are like the, the professors and shit, like, like the big guys. Oh, no, Dumbledore. <laughs> Dumbledore. <laughs> Spoilers, he dies. I'd really rather have this professor type surrender than go down. Then go fucking talk to them. Okay. Are Instead of summoning down, ghosts. Just all jump down off the building. Just After you summon <laughs> fucking murder ghosts. <laughs> Two I mean, mechs uh, and five solars in total. Yeah, we'll have a bunch of these ghosts follow behind us. All right. Night. Okay, so you descend down. There is a man there. Older looking dragon blooded. You know, looks like he's he's not past the prime of his life, but he's starting to like age like dragon blooded do. So it looks like he's going to be in his late 40s, probably mid 50s, somewhere around there. Uh, stern looking scholarly type. Wood aspect. And a bunch of other dragon blood, like ten others. Hmm. Uh, you guys, with your various levels of competence, can tell that these are much more experienced than the guys you killed at the top of the tower. Okay. You guys descend down from on high amidst the burning tower of the heptagram and all the monsters and the specters that they've been putting to the sword. <laughs> Plus, if we talk to them, it'll give us a, a, like give us a few minutes for more specters to like pile in behind us and build our forces up for a couple minutes before we re-engage. Your heptagram is burning. Your students are dying. If you surrender, we can promise their safety. The ones that remain, at least. And your safety, of course. 
We're not looking for a total genocide of your blessed isle. What guarantees of safety can you make amidst... And he just kind of gestures to the horizon on fire and the ring of fire around the Blessed Isle. <laughs> I mean... I mean, we can make a promise. I can make our... Yeah, yeah we can make our most sacred of promises. An unbreakable one. I mean, we did that. That was... Ah, Regera Bodwise pretty knowledgeable. He probably knows that you guys actually can make deals. You're not just trickster anathema. <laughs> Fucking demons. Oh yeah, these are the actual smart ones who know things. Yeah. These all like, okay, yeah, you're not like demon yos, blah, 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 but it's like, ah, uh, you guys are still political enemies. <laughs> yeah. We understand. Mm. <laughs> but we won't be for like, much longer. It's gonna be over mm. soon. Make it easy on everyone. We're not looking for an entire destruction of your people and your way. We can assure you that if you surrender, it'll all still be there. The great houses... Your ways of life, it'll be better than ever. Those promises are counterintuitive to what many of us here at the Academy are seeking. What are you seeking? Well, all that's the same is a plant folding in on itself, rotting at the root from overgrowth. We look for a different configuration of the Blessed Isle. You do tell. Tell. He just kind of gestures to, like, specters, everything on fire, ring of fire over the ocean. Do you want a lesson now? Like, a breakdown? Oh, these these aren't permanent. I'm just, I'm, I'm heavily implying we want to be somewhat in charge of different parts of society and have the oh, culture yes. go our way. There could be newer great houses. We have dragon-blooded on our side already. Uh, You'll be among equals. We do have the wind dancer. Yeah, that guy. Uh, he's one of our oh, greatest shit, allies. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Just say Bogwai kind of goes into his uh, bag of scrolls and pulls out a rather over like spun, like it, it's fairly thick and has like a lot of like rings to it, scroll, like it's a really Don't large scroll. Seal this. <laughs> and he's like, I as a thought experiment wrote up a contract in the event something like this would happen. Oh, you guys are hey, smart. Hey, Empress, you got a traitor here. <laughs> he doesn't care. At this point, it's a fault experiment. I like a man who thinks ahead. <clears throat> See it. I'm going to read through it, make sure. Regar Bogway is an important everyone. fucking person. Yeah, yeah, you got the bureaucrat yeah. here. Uh, Regar Bogway is becomes a super important person on the Blessed Isle and gets in charge of different socio-political, cultural experimentation and development to make a better culture that's more adaptable. Uh, he's in charge of his things and gets left alone and not murdered in the worst ways possible. That actually sounds really perfect. Because we, we have guys on the inside who know how the Blessed Isle works. He yeah. works as a diplomat between us and the houses. Smallest of petty people he also wants executed. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Fucking easy. Like, just spitefully. Hey, yeah. who's not who's not a little bit spiteful, right? <laughs> uh, so all right, right, everyone signs off. Yeah. 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 At this point, yeah. <laughs> all right, we're back. Okay, so you guys all seal the Eclipse Binding Oath on Regara Bogwai's thought experiment proposition on what he would do if the Anathema ever conquered the Blessed Isle. And it's ne- wrapped up in a nice, neat package. I'm going to go close that portal to the underworld, and you can get back to manning the head crown. They, like, look up at it on fire. <laughs> What's left of it? it? <laughs> they go to the other towers. You hear the rampaging of your monster in the background. I mean, I guess You'll I want to stay away from that tower for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Ooh, I could have self out. It's now going to be a... Hexagon, not a heptagon. I'll get the laser pointer. It'll go elsewhere. Don't worry. It lives here now. <laughs> I feel really bad for crashing a ship into their tower well, now. That's basically like Hogwarts. Like, oh yeah, there's a troll roaming around there, and there's a Cerberus. <laughs> and- <laughs> if you go outside, you'll see the whomping willow. It's like an Evangelion <laughs> making that screeching sound. <laughs> we attack Hogwarts. <laughs> we beat up Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, Harry wow. Potter's like. So, go Death Eaters? <laughs> Ron, come over here. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put the, the dark mark on your forehead with a rusty nail. <laughs> we Ron's, have, Ron's they, like, I like chess. Yeah, you can go to the They have wands. Why would they use a nail? <laughs> he's like, spells he like pulls it out of that wooden bridge with his fingers. He's like, there we go, Ron. Hold still. <laughs> There's magic for this kind of thing. 
Eh. Now we're on. This is only going to hurt once. But damn, <laughs> is it going to hurt. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm not sorry. There we go. Quest number four complete. So, yeah, I, I close that down. And uh, kind of are like, okay, go, go, go that way. Go away. <laughs> go, go that way. Go to jail, please. <laughs> go to the ghost jail. See that giant mountain up on the horizon? <coughs> go towards that and stop. Yeah, go, go to a talk thon. This is his problem now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, he was mounting them. He threw us at a desert. It, he, I hate we, deserts. We Sweet live us. there. <laughs> He's put us that. home. I was just about to say that. <laughs> like Anakin. I hate it gets that. everywhere. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. And it killed and raped my mother. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Whoa, that's not a vagina. <laughs> hey, Kyle. <laughs> hey, Kyle. <laughs> you, uh, you went in a different direction, but all right. <laughs> nah, I just went to South Park here. <laughs> what a magical adventure that was. <laughs> Who went to the institute and wiped out everyone? Magicians College in Winterhold, Winterfell. Whatever. So Witchcraft and Wizardry. The Winter College the of Witchcraft and Wizardry in Winterfell. <laughs> so I guess the next place to go okay. is uh, in home. The, the I think you guys just go to the Imperial Mance at this point. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Imperial Mance or the Immaculate Order Temple. No, the Imperial Mance is where the Empress is. Well, I think this was our fourth Do you think there's going to be any so strong good. fighters there? I don't think there's a real point in doing a fifth one. Yeah. It looks like you guys have it covered. Yeah. I mean, you mean, I mean could... this guy probably knows other people who's like, okay, just surrender, and we'll get, you know. It's over. We'll get Here, well. Here's the and template. Chocolate, and children's teeth. <laughs> in that order. Everyone take out your theoretical contracts. <laughs> and they're like, are what? You know, your theoretical betray your people... You know, Secure yourself a position of power contracts. You all made those, right? I fucking <laughs> love the idea that he just made this and it's like a theoretic, it's a thesis. So yeah, so if, it's if, a any, experiment. if anybody ever found it. <laughs> exactly. Pa- plausible deniability. Exactly. Because to like Maimon, she like has like the scroll in her mouth and it's like dipped in chocolate and she has like a knife and fork. And she's like, I'm going to get another, right? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, so yeah, I guess we can just go to the Imperial Mans at this point. <laughs> Like yep. right now? Mm-hmm. Like right mm-hmm. now. So, gang, you guys have taken the heptagram. We're going to just skip the aerial legion invasion thing. That'll happen. It goes. It goes. It's a thing. People coming from the sky and start murdering people from the sky. It's this whole thing. It doesn't sky involve sky. you. Shockwave has it covered. All right, the sky opens up when those portals start coming down and Shockwave appears and starts getting close. No, fuck that. Shockwave's not coming here. It's, she's going to stay in you, Sean. No. Yeah, she was the coordinator. Mm-hmm. She's not getting in range of any of this. Yeah, she's just raining hell from, like, the portal's opening. Her body is one of a kind. Mm-hmm. No. She doesn't want to waste herself. And That's they would, bullshit. You, you know they would love the chance to shoot down a directional titan. Yeah. yeah. They would absolutely love to rub that in our faces when this is all over. It's like, yeah, you beat us, but we got your titan. Yeah. We only have one left. Cat. Killings for everyone. <laughs> we wasted. We wasted all of them. So, you guys are at the heptagram. Uh, and you guys now want to go to the Imperial Mance, which is on the eastern peninsula, like, tip of the Blessed Isle in the Imperial City. Yep. Let's go punch it. Well, I guess we'll be just in the Lushan Gate directly there. I mean, you're you're not that far away. We can just fly. Oh, well, heptagrams on the top. Well, you have a ship. Yeah, We're half a continent away. Yeah, but that doesn't really matter for you guys. That this is not the point we need to be focusing on. Okay, there was the point. Um, who are you gonna bring? Everyone. Nightman, so you can die. Yeah, I'm bringing Nightman. <laughs> uh, we thought we were specifically not bringing Nightman to this ship, so he doesn't die. Of course I'm bringing him. If He's like the queen's best friend. And this is like the final lap. So like you guys are all gathering on the, the, the like opulence of the guys. absolute. And yeah. uh, you're just deciding. It's like, we're going to bring the Nightman. And Nightman's like, yeah, that's fine. After this, I can stop, you know, wandering the uh, the south and just settle down the Blessed Isle. 
Yeah, you don't need more. I'm putting you in this closet. And you're staying <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the tyrant. No, you're gonna stay back. <laughs> Just want to say, Killer Queen, you're my best friend in the whole world, and I love you. <laughs> oh, he's so gonna die. <laughs> Just, oh, <laughs> Flender's with me too. His you know, like his machine spirit robot dog. I love the Flender. Like, slowly starts reaching for the Fraser. He's like, I put this red shirt on. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no, he has he has that red like like uh, red jade armor and the scarf you guys gave him. Yeah, perfect. Gonna say you yeah. are uh, forbidden from dying. <laughs> <laughs> he likes like wait one moment because it's like his helmet's off and you can see his face to see these individuals. He like puts on his very nondescript helmet so it covers up his identity. <laughs> like that one guy in Gears of War, the sniper. Uh, he's dead. I, I know. <laughs> he's already dead. Here, just start having put, a funeral. For puts him. on his helmet and a hole just blows out from behind his eyes. There's like put a sniper on a hill Insignia. Put a little dot in the middle. Nightman, what's your name? Well, my designation is unregulated righteous double war machine. But, but what's your name, first or last? Well, I don't have either. I don't even have oh. a name. Oh, he's not a name. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Poor name, man. He's so dead. Can we bring people that won't Me die too. now? <laughs> so, well, I don't know, Sam. He's busy. Yeah. I'm just I, bringing my one companion. Ooh, Kona. Busy <laughs> and yeah. no. Also, no, I'm not bringing any of my people to the place where they're yeah, going to die. I would bring my the joke. I'd to bring my shit. kid, but I don't think he has an interest in. Oh, no, thank you. Yeah, he doesn't Hard have, pass. He doesn't have any <laughs> he interest in. He literally doesn't have a name. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a name. I showed up like a week ago, and my name's Mountain Son of the Wanderer. Yeah, and don't you forget it. He's Junior. <laughs> yeah. He's literally He's... Mountain Junior. Well done. <laughs> Uh, okay. I think it's just us five. And Nightman? And Nightman? Come on. It's kinda, if we're bringing Nightman, we have to bring more people. It's either and nobody Nightman. or a lot of people. I don't I don't know much about the Imperial Mans. It doesn't matter. You're going to die anyways. What? For moral was, support. was that out loud? What? <laughs> which one is your favorite arm? <laughs> I was going to ask which one. Which one's your least you favorite arm? So Probably oh one that God. kept getting ripped off. <laughs> Are you going to eat that? <laughs> My own severed arm? No, I'm not going to eat that. Good, because I already ate it. I'm already, already eating it. Dibs. <laughs> My own severed arm. <laughs> it was fucking cell versus shorts, man. So good. <laughs> Who else should we bring? What about Optimus? Is he busy? Busy. Damn it. Why do we have all I these important... Really Literally, if we bring of... another alchemical as well, then they're going to die to make us know that it's serious, but that our <laughs> companion doesn't die. Uh, so we can't bring another companion. We can't bring another alchemical. Can I just bring one of well, the... Have you maxed out their social... Do you want to bring Catholic Nello? Yes! <laughs> what, yes! Void without and Catholic Nello? No, no, no not no, Void. Just Nello. Void's busy. Yeah, uh, Void Catholic Nello is busy supporting Void of Him Without. That Fuck that, that. pull and rank. Okay. With the odd couple. Fuck that, pull rank. Do it the Mass Effect style, and you know, who have we maxed out? Whose loyalty with? mission did you do? We did Void, we did Cut in Darkness. We sent literally all of them to yeah. do different things. That's I don't think I did, I don't think I did any did loyalty well. missions for anybody. So, so I have the nightmare. 400 rabbits? He probably owes me one. I think if you go I think uh, he's having issues. <laughs> and he's, he's not going to come into the Imperial Mans. I'm sure. We specifically maybe he we knows somebody that when will. we said it was going to be the five of us, maybe Nightman. I think we designated all our other NPCs to making the what rest of it go. Nightman so likes hanging up a wood carving that's a picture of you guys and him hanging out oh. with the words live forever <laughs> written below oh. in an old realm. Best, best friends forever. <laughs> No, live forever. Uh, <laughs> just just uh, ledger, you know. I made us these eternal love bracelets. They symbolize our eternal eternal love for each other and how we'll all live happily ever after. Together. I think I might settle down with a mortal after this. <laughs> oh well. I think I'm gonna ditch my memory spike. Hate you people. <laughs> <laughs> remember one when you spent a whole session protecting the wolf? You do the same for Nightman. And then yeah, try that for once. Except we'll actually, uh, you know, Can I succeed, jerk. Can we? I was speaking of the wolf. We can we open a portal no, and but bring the other wolf? Someone um, more competent at killing will be trying to kill Nightman. So yeah. 
Kathic Nello, the secret boss the entire game. <laughs> I always knew it. I, I would rage so I'm hard. I just put on this wig. Oh my <laughs> god, it's uncanny. Like, you're just like, what the hell are you talking about? And it's like, oh yeah, Austin, he gave me like 300 bucks for this twist. <laughs> it's too good to pass up. <laughs> So you would do it too. You set up a bitch. <laughs> I would. I, w- I would sell out immediately. I mean, this rag is more like at the be. end of this <laughs> sentence. <laughs> I mean, this rag is more than two hundred dollars. <laughs> the dragons? No, the the rugs. rugs. <laughs> See, Anthony, the other rag that you didn't want. I did it want nice. them. It looks nice. Doesn't I it? did want them, but he jacked my rugs. Well, no, actually, it's because you were all like, uh, oh, it's free, I wanted, but I'm I want, not going to take it. Why would Literally, I leave? Peter's you just like, I wanted to first. see. I have Peter's a girlfriend like, that cares about aesthetic things. I Peter's care about like, aesthetic things. I'm a wealthy individual that wants to give to my less fortunate friends. Have this free, expensive piece of furniture to well, enrich did, the lives he of your friends. He didn't say it was expensive. Lives. He didn't say. He just said And rock. Anthony look, was like, look at this. I live in a shoebox and I eat noodles <laughs> and. I'm below the poverty line. I'm actually in the poverty line in most third world countries. But we need to look at it first. I'm not sure. Send pictures oh. so that I can confirm if we want your nice expensive rug. Because we, we want to make sure it looks good. We want to make sure it looks good in the shithole we live in. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure you do the trash like, with the, you know, kind of the walls and all. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> the fucking stacked up it's boxes. It's newly renovated, okay? Okay. Meanwhile, me, I'm all like, yeah, definitely done. Yes, upvote. <laughs> and so, like, the next time we were over, I just walked over, like, which, it's like a 20-minute walk from our place, Peter's place. I walked over, I put the entire rug over my shoulders, and then Nicole and I, at, at like, 9 o'clock at night, walked back to our house with the rug <laughs> over my shoulders. Yeah, <laughs> I walked it up here. Yep. I was like, you live with me now. <laughs> It's like, it's a red and gold rug, and there's like a normal, like, gray-white rug here, yeah, and we have furniture from two different furniture sets, <laughs> and it, like, everything's mismatched. You know what it was? Free. Free. Free is a beautiful thing. It yeah, is, not money. It's free. free. It's really good. Thank you for the rug. Both of you. It is nice. We have a rug from Ian and Peter. <laughs> what the fuck, guys? Mine? I said yes. I'm closer, Ian. Called I said, like... What was it? Two weeks after yeah. meeting you guys, dude. dude at work, oh, my boss. This my table, place, this table we're working on. My boss was like, sent an email. It's like, I'm gonna get rid of this expensive table that I bought for like a oh, hundred bucks. I was like, done. <laughs> Everyone else was like, can we get pictures? Can we see? It? I was like, done. <laughs> That's my downfall. I want to see things. I want to. No see questions it. asked. You know why? We didn't have a big expensive table with multiple chairs. It's true. So anything would have been better than nothing. These lamps. Peter just brought him over. He was like, and lamp. Well, you guys have no light in this house. I want some lamps. Peter, bring me some lamps. We really need lamps. (laughs) It's not happening. (laughs) Uh, That table, my aunt found for free at her expensive condo in the free bin from her expensive condo neighbors. Anytime I need furniture from now on. I I have a buddy who used to live um, out in the the Richmond area. Literally, and even our bed, the bed that he had, literally every single piece of furniture. We didn't buy a single, we bought the bookshelves. Okay, out of all the furniture we own, and we own like two bedrooms worth of furniture, two beds, a queen size and a king size, bookshelves, this table, the couches, the lamps, out of all of the furniture we own for this two bedroom, two bath house, our condo, we have spent no more than $400 for all of it. That's pretty good. Yeah. Free. Right. And because we traded, I, like, we traded our old furniture to our landlord for some furniture he had that people left behind in old apartments that was yeah. new. Like, we just we just yeah. play that game. We bought I'm this a... bookshelf at Walmart. We bought that bookshelf somewhere? Or is that Walmart. free too? Walmart. Yeah, though that was those were 10, 20 bucks each. Yeah. yeah. I have a buddy who used to live in the shittier end of Richmond, and he'd walk up because it's pretty close to the nice end of Richmond where he was. <laughs> yeah. And he'd walk up on, you know, like the last weekend of the month. Because all the people would be moving and whatnot. And there'd just be piles of free shit. Yeah. And he'd just load up a wagon and wheel it back to his place. We have gone wildly off topic. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Let me, so anyways, let's... All right, all right, we're back. So, okay. Okay. Well, you five and the Nightman, the unregulated righteous devil war machine, for your big final adventure. 
If we bring him, he's gonna die. Seriously, no, we shouldn't bring him. Die. He's no. all decked out. He's gone to a vats facility. He has his charms <laughs> ready. If either he's gonna <clears throat> die or I'm gonna end up die dying saving uh, him. He has a dog with him. Okay. When the dog starts dying, then you know shit's getting serious. Also, he's not the one who wear is wearing like an anonymous armor. He's not the one that's like all I'm the generic grunt with the heavy <laughs> weaponry and the punches. <laughs> Wait, you think they're gonna kill me off? No, the plot isn't gonna kill me off. All right, Are you she, sure? I'm pretty sure. As the tropes go, he'll have to kill his own dog. Well, his dog goes bad. <laughs> yeah. Like oh no, like, you caught the gremlin syndrome that they no the been keeping. Flender is gonna be like, Flender, are you okay? That demon roughed you up a bit. And Flender's like, we're gonna build a wall. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> and he like grabs him by the head and like puts the gun under its mouth and shoots <laughs> it. <laughs> like in fucking um, Will oh, Smith yeah. movie. Yeah. <laughs> I am Land. I am, I am Legend. legend. Uh, they really Will Smith movie. It was a vampire Will, movie. Will Smith was a dog. Yo, dog. Anyway, is that is that the plan? Is that the team? Yeah. yeah. This is the team. The We're team not bringing the Countess or the... Uh... <laughs> I am bringing literally none of my allies to the big important I mean, fight where they will die. They they bring bring all the 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 I think I would have made more friends with fighters up, along the way. I would uh, laugh and then... Uh, I don't know. I can't kill you guys, so I don't know. Everything but the Blessed Isle blows up. It's like, well, all the NPCs except for the ones we brought with us. Are <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and then the Royal's like, hmm, the realm defense grid can grant us anything we want. But the it. I wish I could explode. <laughs> I wish they would explode. I wish we could switch bodies. And everything went back to the wild. <laughs> As oh, as you should have done and that. Thus the, and like, and like the wild, the big chaos kind of like starts to fold in on itself, like a book being closed. And thus ends the story of what of mythic creation and the and the heroes within. And it slowly pans out into space and the rest of the world where people are. And then like uh, the Transformers theme from Transformers the movie starts playing and Heaven's Reach begins. <laughs> <laughs> it was just an epilogue. The full like log, I should say. It's like the beginning of the... Oh, okay, way back. Back to Nightman. <laughs> we're, right. we're losing it. We're losing we'll it. See you. you guys get into the Majestics, uh, the opulence of the Absolute. You fly to the yes, Imperial the City. the Majestics Obstinate of the Absolute. The Majestics Obstinate abs ab 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 Abolition. <laughs> Abstinence of Absolution. The Abolitionists Absolutes. The Absent Majestic of Omniscience. The Emancipator's Threat. <laughs> okay, we're losing it again, guys. We're losing it again. And we're not even drinking. <laughs> I know, we're sober. The Imperial City is on fire. Monsters, destruction, Hecaton Kyrates, wars, uh, the great families, people vying for conquest. It's a big swirling melee full of things. It's the whole thing. <laughs> and yes, standing out amongst the Imperial City, at the kind of peak slash center of it all, is the Imperial Mans. Dun, dun, dun. A large... Um, it's kind of like a campus almost. like It's, it's a sprawl more than it's a singular building. It is a large field of curated grounds and gardens and, uh, like, pagodas and manses built around it. And once you get close to the center of the field, there's a wall, you know, 50 feet tall, 30 feet thick, made of solid uh, jade and marble and uh, composite magical materials. And the grounds of that is just an open, rolling green hill, like a grassy knoll. And there is a squat squared pagoda-like building in the center of it that looks like it's like a large um, utility structure. Like, it's, it's big and palatial. The giant naked people swarming this wall. Yeah, there's fucking, fucking attack on Titan Titans, you piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. That's the Imperial Mance. You guys fly up to it. Uh, if you try to go overhead, you will be shot down and killed by the Realm Defense Grid. Oh, yeah. The front doors? <laughs> no, you have to start all the way back where the manses are and, like... Oh, god damn it. What? Sneaky, sneaky. We can't just crash our ship into it like we usually do? <laughs> no, a beam of punishing uh, light from a God King spear will strike you down. Bullshit. Sorry. What we'll do is we'll get Tell down there. Sound? We'll come in the Nimbus and we'll just fly there on a cloud. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll get down the there. And we'll, we'll use the have a talk phone to wish we can explode. <laughs> <laughs> 
Why but do finally we still... use it? It's just for a go kart. <laughs> <laughs> Scooty Puff Junior sucks. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, you guys basically land and get ready to begin your, what's the word, infiltration of the Imperial Mance, the Realm Defense Grid, and the Empress inside. You're going to find gonna this... infiltrate her? Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, oh, baby. Oh, You're going to find For this... For decades and decades and decades. <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ. <laughs> you will find this fucking Empress, and you will kill her fucking ass. Okay. And then chuck her down into hell. Throw her down the, the mine shaft in the middle of the Death Star. <laughs> All right. I think that'll be the end of this episode, which took a turn because the first half was recorded a different part than the second half. And the second half, we got, we got <laughs> flipping. <laughs> we got silly. We are sorry. Really. No, no. Worries. Sorry, not sorry. Go fuck yourself. I guess I'm not sorry then. Yeah, I'm not sorry. <laughs> so, I'm Devin, and we had... Uh, Peter. Ian, Kevin, Nicole, Anthony. And this is sponsored by Nobody. Signing off. <laughs>